Over you. Hello, 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 everyone. How is everyone doing? Hello, happy Monday. Are we ready for some Mythic Plus? Today, everyone, we are doing Mythic Plus on my shaman. I can't hear myself think. Um, how's everyone doing? Um, do you know what? Again, it feels like it's been about... 500 years since I last streamed, and it's been, I think, four days. The last week of my life has been... It's just been so crazy. I... Oh my god. I'm, like, overly emotional right now. I'm, like, very excited about a lot of things. I, I feel like if someone showed me a picture of a kitten, I'd burst out into tears. Like, <laughs> like I physically cannot, like, deal with this right now. Um, there's a lot happening. And there's going to be more happening. And more on, the more happening. There is going to be a an, an announcement about an announcement today on stream. Okay? I am at some point in this stream. I know when, but you don't know when. But it will be happening. Um, at some point tonight in the stream, I am going to be announcing some details. Some really important details about the announcement coming up soon. I'm going to be announcing... <laughs> I'm like doing an announcement about the announcement. So I'm going to be announcing what the announcement is. This I'm realising how in, like ridiculous this sounds. <laughs> I'm going to be announcing tonight like what the announcement is and kind of like what uh, some details about uh, what it's going to entail. The quantity, should we say, of whatever the announcement is. Um... And, and also the a, a rough date of when the said announcement <laughs> is actually going to be um, when that project that I'm announcing is actually going to go go live. I don't have a confirmed date, but I can give you a date within a week radius. Um, I wish I had a confirmed date, but because of things, I can't. So that is coming up in this stream tonight. Uh, apart from that, we will actually be doing some Mythic Plus on my shaman might have to start i don't think we've got any time walking this week um but we do need to get a little bit of gear maybe let's see what we could do um i haven't played my shaman really on retail since i actually last done my well since i done my enhancement guide 
but realistically, it's been a while. So I need to actually get back in the swing of things myself a bit. Maybe you'll be teaching me how to play Restoration Shaman tonight. Let's jump in and see what happens. Hi, North. Hi, Samir. How are you guys doing? I love your class guides. It helps me a lot. Thank you, buddy. Any in particular? Any in particular at all? I am actually having... Not, I mean, it's not really my dinner. It's more like a breakfast. So... I had a bit of a situation this morning, and basically what happened was, is I had ran out of coffee at home, like, three days ago, and I couldn't be bothered, I guess, to go to the grocery store just for coffee. So, my friend was having a housewarming party on Saturday, and I was going to bring a bottle of champagne. I had a bottle of champagne in the fridge, and I thought, oh, actually, I'm going out Easter Thursday, so I'll use that champagne for them. So I'm actually going to go to Waitrose and buy another bottle for the housewarming. But then I had like a bit of a dilemma. Um, and like my gum was really swollen and I was like really stressed out about it. So I ended up leaving the house an hour late. Um, and therefore did not go to Waitrose and buy more coffee. So I've had to like be ordering my coffee in for the last like two days. So then today I went out. Wait, why was I telling you about getting coffee? Oh yeah, so this morning I ordered a Costa coffee to the house. But... They charge you a low order fee if you only buy a coffee. So I had to get like a flapjack as well, which filled me up all morning, meaning that my breakfast here hasn't been eaten because then I then had like a late lunch because I was so full from the coffee and the flapjack, meaning that I'm going to have to have my breakfast now and then have my dinner later on after I go um, and go for a run later this evening. So it's all been, it's all been quite the dilemma, really, guys. But that's why I'm having my breakfast, okay? So don't judge me. Um, <laughs> I hope everyone else has had a good day. I hope everyone else has had a good day. It's only a little breakfast. I'm just going to eat it quickly now while we're chatting before we get started. Mmm. Hi, Plunderstorm. Have you guys been Plunderstorming? I've been very, very busy. I'm a very busy, man. I haven't really had a chance too much over the last few days. How are you, North? Are you having a good day? Well, actually, I have spoken to you already, and I know how your day's been, so... <laughs> actually, don't... Do you know what? Don't bother. Oh, my God. Samir on YouTube said, especially the Voker and also the Priest helped me a lot, but Samir was saying to learn a lot more about Priest Shadow um, since I'm enjoying it very much. In my eyes, Shadow Priest is quite easy. In the, as a beginner, I actually kind of advise that you basically just press whatever is available in the priority order. Um, if you're finding it difficult or complex, things like Halo, uh, Halo Mind Games, there's another spell at the end that's kind of very low priority that I can't think of right now. What I would actually suggest is just take those off, don't worry about them, and just do like the first like five or six priorities. Um, once you've got that down, then look at adding those extras on. And that's actually a really good way at looking at a rotation. Um, you could take even something crazy like Arcane Mage. You could just do the main burst. Or just do the mini bursts and work your way up to doing all of it and put it together. I think where a lot of people may not go wrong, but obviously, you know, WoW can be quite toxic. And a lot of people are very elitist. Is that you get stressed out by that and the peer pressure of it all, and then you just feel like you have to do the complete best rotation ever, all in one second from, you know, buying the game, when actually, you could just do it brick by brick. Rome wasn't built in a day, nor was anything else, and, and nor was your Shadow Priest rotation. Oh, there's just something I really want to talk about. When my mouth isn't full. Torpedo Steven, hey, welcome in, thank you for the follow. It's nearly all gone, guys. Realistically, I should have just gone live five minutes later and just eaten this, but I didn't. So, <laughs> here I am, <laughs> just eating my breakfast. Okay, it's nearly done. You know, I am a real person. I bit my gum up here. So sore. I'm, I never shut up, so I'm always biting my gum and stuff. 
Okay. Need a napkin. That was a bit. Don't have any napkins. Right. Because of your guides, I push plus 20s at the moment. But honestly, I want to learn my rotation better to be able to push more damage since my eye level is 471. It's not bad for 20s. And I'm pushing um, an AOE pack 250 to 300k. It's really not bad, man. Like, okay, so this is something I really want to talk about. Like, okay, let, uh, you know what? We're going to talk about this in a minute because y'all know me. My, my brain is going to be like, like uh, you know, it's going to get so like perplexed and confused. We're 415 eye level right now. Terrible. Um, obviously, my chamois is very new. Um, I don't think... I mean, we could just, like, sign up to one, maybe. I mean, it's fucking easy. Let's go to restoration. So, it's really interesting, right? Because, like, you're saying about you doing plus 20s. And, like, something that's really, really interesting, I think, is... Um, like, the kind of fact that... Um, you think... Well, not not you think. You want to do better, right? Like, I want to do better. We all want to do better. We always... I think if you're playing WoW and you're doing that kind of level gaming, you know, end game content of any level, you're always looking to improve and, and, and do better, right? Um, so one thing I've been doing recently is making everything the same across all my characters. So what I want to do is enter the profile name. Havi Default. Well, it doesn't really look any different, does it? <laughs> oh, in apply. Uh, it's owned by another tune. Copy. And then I'm going to have to go slash weak aura because I need to push this one up a bit more. I'm making sure that all of my characters, and this is a really great tip if you are someone that is actually trying to do everything. Uh, every spec that is. And what you want to do is, you know, I always recommend you get the Lux Foss Weak Aura because I just, you know, you can just install it straight away like this. It looks great. Um, and then I use a profile. My LVI profile is the same across all my characters. My details profile here, same across all characters. Uh, my Voodoo, same across all characters. And I just import it like that. If you are a Patreon, YouTube member, or Twitch subscriber, you can actually import my all of my profiles. I was about to say for free then, but you're already paying, so it's not for free at all. That was a big lie, wasn't it? Um, I can join you on some low keys since I see you have a, a new chamois. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that is what Mythic Monday is all about. And do you know what? You're actually like the first person that has said that. We've been doing it for like six weeks now. So everybody else, take note, please. <laughs> um, but sh sure. Um... I mean, I, I really don't have good gear. Let's have a look. Have we got a healing surge, chain heal, riptide? I'm I haven't played it in months, and you know what? It's really funny because I just come back like that, and I'm like, boom! I know where that riptide is. You know, I know where it is. Um, I know. You know. So I'm going now. Um. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. I don't know what this music is, chat. It's quite relaxed. I'm feeling quite relaxed today. Um, recruit a friend? <laughs> Can I recruit you? <laughs> I'm just going to add you as a friend. Is this what happens? Do content creators like end up with a million friends? I couldn't tell you. I could not tell you. Um... someone appeared. Um, here we go. Uh, invite. If you want to go now. So, are you DPS? Um, assuming. I think I invited you. Do you know what I need to do? I need to go into here and settings and turn off the channels for trade and services on here. There we go. Now I can actually see what the hell is going on. Oh my god, I, I feel like everything is so crazy right now. Um, still no news on season four. No news on season four still. Which 
isn't good. I do think it's going to be the start of May. Um, I do think it was the start of May. I think I didn't invite you. Um, okay, cool. So, I mean, I'm guessing we're just going to do whatever, really, I guess. Um, pre made. Do, 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 do. Not much about, is there? There's a rise five. I mean, I don't know if never got three of this. Um, this is the thing, right? Like this late in the season, people are just not doing many keys at this low level. By the way, guys, see this little green circle here? Oh, there we go. Dawn. Nice. This little circle here, this little green circle, it's a weak aura. If anybody wants it, I'll put it in Discord. What this weak aura does is, see it's turning from uh, red to green. It's on my mini map if you can't see it. Um, right hand, bottom corner. It's turning from red to green. If somebody in your group invites you to a Mythic Plus group, if you have it on green, it will automatically accept all of the cues they're putting you up for in the Mythic Plus group finder, basically. Um, so yeah, if they are, if it's red, it won't. And you could just switch it on and off like that. It's really, really useful if you're doing group content with friends. Really, really good, guys. Really, really good. It's really, really good. Um, collections. Um, mounts. I mean, I'm a restoration shaman. Maybe we'll go with like, like what is screaming resto shaman? None of these. <laughs> That's for sure. Can you change your flourishing, flourishing, whimsy Drake? Where? I think you could change it, right? Like it all look like totally different. While we're waiting, uh, that's the great vol. Um. Oh, let's get a steg stamp. A steg stamp statish. This is from Plunderstorm. Pirates booty. What is that? Whoa! Look at that, chat. It has 2,000 intellect on it. Oh, my staff doesn't even have intellect, so I'm actually going to have to use that. And it's eye level 457. That's really good. Um, that's really good. We're going to have to get an offhand item. And we're also going to have to sell all this rubbish, because this is insanity. Like, there's so much rubbish in here. Um, four, two, one, one-handed axe. Wait, that's one hand and one hand. Can I just? I don't want to dual wield though. Um, but I will keep that there. One o six. What's that rubbish? Um, pet charms. I need to go to my my bank account. What's that? I'm over forty four. We don't want that. 44, get rid, get rid, get rid, get rid. 44, 44. Oh my, ay, ay, ay. This is all just um stuff from raiding. 319. Could get a neck, but who cares? Um, 412. We don't need that. That's my 415 staff. 138, 138. We'll put the weapons here. One for eight, one for eight, one for eight. Okay, let's buy an offhand. Uh, weapons, one handed. Does it do offhand? Uh, miscellaneous? How do you get like an offhand? Uh, miscellaneous. Is it other? One handed?
Oh, it's in armor. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? Uh, 44899. I've got the money for that. Does it have it? It's got intellect. Oh, my God. I didn't even know if it had intellect then for a second. Oh, my God. We've got a full group. That is great news, everyone. Are you coming or what? Why don't you shut your mouth? Why don't you shut your foul mouth? How are you doing today, buddy? Let's just turn wow up a bit, because I can't hear it personally. Do, 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 do. Uh, what is fine at M plus level for 447? How comfortable are you? So I was doing like plus 18s. 15, well, I was doing 15 to 20s um, at the start of the season. Like when I, when it was like, you know, week one. Um, so if you're very comfortable doing 20 and above, honestly, like, you won't really notice that much difference with good people. Will you get invited for that? Probably not at that eye level at this point in the season. Probably start at maybe... Like, you could start at, like, a 14. It, it really depends. Um, I would just literally just do, like, a 5 and then, like, a 8 and then, like, a 10. And I just I would just keep going up until you're like, oh, I've hit, you know... I played like one lever pretty uh, yeah exactly plus eleven was pretty easy I just made it plus fifteen plus fourteen oh come to the stone oh god I've got to do it all didn't I looking forward to your video about the recent P free announcement. Bro, what is that? I haven't got a clue. People message me all the time. Oh, are you going to do a video about, about this that's just happened? And I'm like, I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. What is the announcement you're talking about? Oh, <laughs> the announcement you say. Well, now you've asked. Um, oh, wait, I'm meant to be going to the, to the summoning stone. Or are we all in there now? That doesn't look like it. I can't. There's no one here phasing. I can't phasing. Um, there will be an announcement at some point in the stream. There will be an announcement at some point in the stream. An announcement about the announcement. Basically. But apparently there's been an announcement. <laughs> apparently, there's, apparently there's been a, a phase three announcement. Is this SOD? Oh, shit. What? Uh, it's bank holiday Monday, isn't it? So I'll go in Tuesday. Fuck. So that is day one, two, and three. Ooh, that could work. Shit. Hang on, guys. Like, big news. Uh, season of Discovery Phase 3 launches April 4th, and the new raid is, as could have guessed it, Sunken temple and that is going to be a global launch holy shit guys smb is pregnant smb i physically can't see anyone i don't know how to phase phase into what Can't these people just come here? Wait, 
Like, just come to the, come to the dungeon. Jesus Christ. Just come to the dungeon. It doesn't take that long. You cannot be that far from a capital city, Valdraken. Like, where are you? Deep in the depths of Vashir? Jesus H. Christ. Get in that dungeon now. <laughs> Hi, Lyanne. How are you? Do you know, I feel like I haven't spoken to you, Lyanne, in like 10 years. It's literally Dragonflight area. They should come on their own. Yeah, come on your own, Rebecca Black. <laughs> Even she was quicker than that. Oh, gosh. Heavens above. Okay, what's, what spells have I forgotten about? Um, I want to keep Riptide up. I've forgotten, I've forgotten completely how to play Restoration Shaman. So, who knows, who knows what's going to happen. Till when is the drop active? Um, the pet drop? I've got, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know it was from March 22nd, so the last three days. Um, you only have to watch three hours, though, I think. Couldn't agree more. Get accepted to the group and head to the dungeon. Yeah, like, get to the dungeon. Where's my Riptide? There it is. Primordial Wave, sorry. Um, do I have Primordial Wave on it? I don't know. I don't even know if I've got Primordial Wave on there. Um, spells. Healing Surge. Chain Heal. Riptide. Charging. Move. Uh, no. Control left should be... Ugh. Control left click. Okay. I literally can't as I'm out of Charging. combat. Mm. This is horrific. <laughs> what is? Oh my god. This is not good. This does not bode well. Oh. I mean, oh yeah, I need to be using my water sh my water shield. Um, need to make sure I'm using that. New tactic to make dungeons. Cover your screen. It's Charging. not good, is it? Mm. It's not good at all, really. Interrupt. Is everybody alive? I mean, I'm not sure. AOE incoming. Oh, I cancelled it! Are you fucking kidding me right now? I fucking cancelled it! AOE incoming. Jesus Christ! Watch your... AOE incoming. Um, but you don't stream that often. Just watch me and then after just watch someone else for the rest of an hour. Put it on like a... Okay, here we go. Um, I'm already away. Oh, it's still there? Okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. Um, right, so what were we talking about, guys? Um, poor Rebecca, again mentioned... <laughs> It wasn't positive either, was it? It wasn't positive. Um, <laughs> but yeah, exactly, David. Get to the goddamn dungeon, for God's sake. Um, okay, so tonight, guys, we're doing Mythic Plus uh, as a shaman. If you're new here, basically what I do is every Monday we do a different class on, um, on generally healing, because I am having heals. And we do a different class every Monday, um, Healing Mythic Plus. So what I think I am going to do, and I did discuss this a little bit last week, is that I'm generally looking to be rotating Holy Priest, Resto Shaman, and Restoration Druid. Um, so that we're getting, you know, I, I don't want to be just going from pillar to post every single week for weeks and weeks and weeks. I would like to kind of build up a few core specializations that I really enjoy, voted for by my Patreons and YouTube and Twitch subscribers. Um... So I think, considering these are the three that have been voted, we'll probably rotate those. Um, Druid, I think we've seen enough of this season. So I think for the rest of season three, we will be doing um, a bit more Holy Priest and, and Resto Shaman. I think that would be really good. Right, let's keep up our, our Riptides. Get some Chain Eels out. 
I, I do really like Restoration Shaman. I, I'm considering even going main Resto Shaman for Season 4. So yes, everyone, it's actually just been announced that Phase 3... Oh my god, that is such perfect timing. Phase 3 of Season of Discovery is coming in um, a, a week's time. It's literally next week, isn't it? Oh shit, that's crazy. That's crazy, guys. I'm really overwhelmed at the moment. Um, I'm really overwhelmed in a really good way. Is overwhelmed the right word? I don't know. But that's not good news for season four. I don't think it really matters for season four. Then, then they're, they're not symbiotic. I don't think it. I don't think it makes some. Um, they're not going to release that quickly after one another. Yeah, but they weren't going to release it, like, in one week. You know, if we looked at the six-week rule, rule, um, then we're looking at, like, the 2nd of May, I think. I, I think it's going to be end of April, um, start of May for season four, um, which I'd be really happy with. Um, especially because of the announcement that I'm going to be making shortly in this stream tonight. Um, I'm so excited to Watch share that step. with you. So it isn't the announcement itself being made tonight, but details about the announcement, including what the announcement will be, what it's going to contain, and when it will be. That is what I'm announcing tonight. Um, yeah. So I'm just releasing some really exciting details to, you know, get everyone hyped up. Um, but I'm like so nervous. You, you know, like when you're a kid and you go to Disneyland, that's how I feel about it. It is like, it It could be, I've got a lot riding on it, should we say? Um, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot happening. Um, in, in, in WoW, in everything, it's just crazy. You're running for president? I'm not, no. <laughs> I don't think I've got time for that quite busy um but no so at some point in the stream there is going to be um there is going to be a nice about it but it's all very exciting i've been, I've been working on it for like a month so. but yeah so yeah phase phase three coming in um in a week's time hey who needs sleep i do i literally i'm one of these people like are you guys like this as well in chat i am one of these people i physically have to get my eight hours sleep like i, I physically it's it's a non-negotiable um i had something else really exciting happen this weekend i was looking at apartments and i actually know exactly where i want to i can't obviously discuss where that is on stream for obvious reasons but i have actually now decided where i want to live um when i get my own place later this year are you gonna do a holy pally guide <laughs> have you commented on a video saying that I, I I am being I am being asked. That's actually the announcement. I'm gonna do a holy paladin guide. I've actually been I am being um I have I have so many people I think at the moment. Suddenly this week, it's very bizarre. Suddenly this week, um asking for a holy paladin guide. I actually had forgot I had forgotten that I hadn't actually done a holy paladin guide, if I'm honest at this point. And I did think to myself when cause somebody was like, Day 13! Day 13 of asking for Holy Paladin Guide, and it really made me laugh. I don't know if it was you, it might be someone else. Um, I'm so bad at it, but I'm not saying it's actually coming. So, um, one thing I will say, I mean, I'm gonna be very. So, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this with with kind of actually going back. I'm gonna talk about the past and the future. So, when I started my WoW channel in November, I there's nothing here. Why? Is, what's going on? When I started my WoW channel in November, the goal was that I'd done all season three retail guides. So every single class there is and spec, I wanted to cover it. Obviously, is this like bugged? Oh. That was weird. Um, 
Obviously, I had never done any class guides before in my entire life, and therefore it was an, an absolutely gargantuan undertaking for me to do said guides. And I think in the first sort of 10 days of the patch, I maybe achieved like 20 of them. And then over the next sort of three to four months, which brings us to the present day, I would say that I achieved um, probably another 10 to 15 of them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's about right. Yeah, there's 39 different specializations in retail. I think I have covered about 35 of them. I know I haven't covered Survival Hunter, Blood Death Knight, Demon, the two Demon Hunter specs, because I hadn't even had one leveled until like a month ago. Holy Paladin. I believe, oh, and Brewmaster Monk. I believe those six specs are the six specs I haven't covered um, at this point. And I have covered every single other spec. Now, oh dear. Oh, I can, I can reincarnate. Um, now, as I said, that was a huge undertaking and I've never done any um, class guides before. Soon after that, I said, oh, do you know what? I really enjoyed this. I actually think I'll do um, Season of Discovery as well. So, obviously, you know, in between all that, I'm doing then multiple game modes. And I was potentially going to think, like, if I've got time, I'll do Holy Paladin. The thing is, like, I've done an Unholy Death Knight guide recently, and it's got a few views, etc. But for the workload that it's putting into these guides, there just isn't the hype anymore for Season 3. Um, and I'm... I'm putting most of my effort now into preparing for season four i am really preparing for season four to make sure that when i do do season four on launch day not five days into the patch like i did in season three but on launch day you can rely on me to be there putting out the guides faster than anybody else on youtube guaranteed um and that is you know again a huge undertaking but i want to make sure this time with all the i mean i've been you know I'm a, i know what i'm doing a lot more now um, that I can actually put out a lot more, a lot faster. Um, will I do every single spec? Who knows? Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can do every 39 specs um, and not take three months to do it. I would aim to really do them all in like two weeks of the season so that everybody in Retail WoW, um, their voice is heard and they have got a guide no matter what spec you want to play. Obviously, things like Phase 3 of Season Discovery are coming out in a week's time, which... I haven't prepared for literally at all. Um, I have not prepared for at all. Um, this is like a plus five. Like, I don't need to. I don't really. It doesn't matter. I can just do whatever. Um, like, yeah. I um, haven't prepared for season three at all. Trust and believe. I will um, be doing season phase three of season discovery like that. Um, but it now means the next week of my life has just gone from, like, a 7 out of 10 crazy to a 12 out of 10 crazy. Um, yeah, but that's cool. So basically what I'm saying is, w would I love to do Holy Paladin? Sure. <laughs> like, really, bitch? What I'm saying is, would I love to be able to do Holy Paladin before Season 4? Yeah, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. Season 4 is generally going to be in probably a few weeks' time. A month's time, I reckon, roughly, personally. Um, so, things like that that you've been waiting for will come. It just looks like it probably will be um, Season 4, not Season 3 of Dragonflight. But again, I really want to make sure I'm doing... A lot more guides, a lot quicker in Season 4 um, of, of Dragonflight. And that is actually also going to include PvP. Once I have covered PvE, I will then be mo mo moaning? <laughs> I will then be moving on to PvP beginner guides as well, which is something I haven't done before, um, but I do aim to be doing um, as many as possible in Season 4 of Dragonflight. So there's a lot more coming. I'm very, very committed. Um, I've also been preparing over the last few months, like, an insane amount of work has been going into um, Cataclysm. Cataclysm for... Let's put, um, can let's put on my playlist, because this is a joke. Yeah, we're going to be doing um, 
Yeah, PvP, PvP as well. And, yeah, and Cataclysm. Cataclysm, I'll have PvE and PvE guides as well. Um, I'll be streaming it when it launches for the live show. The live show for the live launch. Um, and and levelling in Cataclysm. And then I will have guides to all of that as well. Because at the moment, if any of you play it, obviously in Watalk, I don't have any guides out for Watalk. Um, but this late into the expansion, I'm just levelling up all my characters purely so that I can help you guys do it. Oh, man. What is going on here? What are these? Oh, my... What the... Well, this is great, isn't it? They've pulled the boss. What is the point? Can you actually kill these? What is going on? Like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is like such a sick joke. See, see it? Yeah, but for, for what? Like, the five minutes that they're on the boss? Like, it's just too long, you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can hex it, but, I mean... This just feels so silly to me. Do I still go left, or can I go right? I guess it doesn't... There'll still be the mobs, in it, so I've still got to go... Yeah. But yeah, so I'm really sorry if that isn't what some of you want to hear regarding the, the reigning guides. But um, I think it's very easy to forget. Um, I think it's very easy to... I think it's very easy to forget that I only started doing World of Warcraft videos. And I only had a thousand subscribers in November, which yes is ne nearly like six months ago now. But all we've had then is that's still the same season we're in. We're still in the same season of Retail WoW. I've only been doing content for one season of WoW. That's it. <laughs> like, isn't that so crazy? Hey, Stardust, how you doing? Isn't that so crazy? I think it is so crazy. How about that? And. I go through a juxtaposition of, oh my god, I'm doing really well and I love all of this, to, oh, I still feel really new at this and this is all just like absolutely bonkers. Um, and let me tell you, the announcement that is coming tonight, wow, like, I couldn't even tell you. It could change everything. It could change everything, like genuinely. I mean, this YouTube channel and Twitch, if you're watching here, has been quite literally life-changing for me in these last, like, four or five months anyway. Um, and this next thing could... Like, I, I mean, I, it's, like, just too... It's just, like, too much to me to think about. I'm like, I just can't. It's, like, all just... It's, like, like this is so crazy. Like, I can't. I literally is fucking crazy. So this weekend coming, Easter weekend, I'm going out with some friends on Thursday night. And then Friday, I'm actually going, I'm driving across the country to look at a potential, not a potential apartment, but a potential location I want to live in. Um, that is like one of the most picturesque places I've ever seen. So, and I could be moving, like I'm looking to move in like the next six months. So, and you, YouTube is like, and this community is what is like, um... This is, like, what is giving me the opportunity to do this. And, like, everything that's happened... Like, I, I just, like, can't. It sounds expensive. That's what my mum said. <laughs> this looks like a very expensive place to live. And I said... My finances are none of your business. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, like... But the, the fact that, like... Uh, oh, and check for Greek and Lebanese restaurants. You're absolutely right. I'll have to taste test all of the hummus before moving there. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I actually looked and there was like my, my the grocery stores that I like were there, which is the co-op, which is like a, a small grocery store. And then um, and then there was a Waitrose and I thought, oh my God, this is literally like everything I could possibly want. And there was also, I haven't checked if there's a Starbucks, but there is some like little Italian bistros and that. Um, there's a lot of restaurants there. So I, I think um, there could be like maybe an Italian, um, maybe coffee place, even better, you know, but we'll see. Uh, healing Tide Totem, and that one is Cloudburst. Collecting power with your healing spells, and when it starts, it's release healing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but that, one, that one's really quick. You should actually probably not cap your Cloudburst. But, like, I actually was just looking for this place over the weekend. I was just looking at, like, you know, places. Like, where am I going to, you know, think of... Um, where am I going to... I need to put Earth Shield on as well. Um on someone, on the tank. I guess I'll stand in here. Um, and I just came across this little place that I didn't know existed. And I was like, oh my God, this is like my dream locale. And it's really put things into perspective for me. Like it, it's made me think like, shit, like this could really happen for me, you know? Um, I think when, when you finally, like, like before it was like, oh, I'm going to live here or there. I don't know where I'm going to live. You know, who will see. And then when it gets to the point where you're like, you, you find an area, like, and I'm talking like, when I say an area, I'm not talking a town. I'm actually talking about like a block. Like, it's like three different roads. Um, it's like very small area, but it's amazing. And I'm like, I like, you know, that's where I want to live. Like, that's it. That is where I want to live. That is where I want my life to be. I can I can see my life being there. And whereas before, it was all kind of like, I don't know, like, you know, we'll see. And it, it's made me want to work harder than ever. And North actually said something really funny. Um, a member of the community, if you don't know, don't know him, he was like, mate, I don't think you could work any harder. And I was like, you know what? You're right. But it's making me enjoy my work even more because I'm like it means more now you know and that is um really really exciting what keystone did we get chat we're gonna throw the tides four let's get in there shall we um yeah and like like what I'm gonna be talking about later on in the stream is is gonna be part of that um I've been really bored lately. I, for the last month, um, let's do one more dungeon and then I think we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. Um, I'll hop my vocal. Yeah, absolutely, Moose. Absolutely, buddy. If anybody in chat does want to come, you, you just let me know. You just let me know, chat. I'm going to get some food and I'm going to get some, uh, enchantments. Put a little cheeky enchantment on there, shall we? Um, little cheeky enchantment and um, some food, some runes. I've only got 800 gold on this character, which is not good. Just whisper me, Moose. Um, what I should really do, guys, and I'm going to write on my trusty notepad. If you know me, I have a trusty notepad. I can join on my tank. Oh, absolutely, Jared. You join on that tank. It's just a plus four throne of tides. Um, what I should probably do, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put a um, exclamation mark B net command um, after this stream so that you can type exclamation mark B net in the stream. And then basically, um, and then basically, um, well, you could add me on B net. <laughs> Who would have thought, eh? Who would have thought? Um, okay, yeah. If you want to just let me know yours or, well, I could just. Um, how do you copy, uh, I don't want to broadcast it, I don't want to broadcast it, how do I, how do I copy mine, how do I copy my beaner, this is silly isn't it, well it's on the screen, or just let me know yours in the chat, if anyone wants to come, you have a new friend request, oh thank god for that, because I was obviously useless there, um, on a demon hunter, I'm just going to invite you. And if it's not, then obviously you won't accept it. Uh, okay, let's get some howling runes. But yeah, like, and, and that was all this kind of, this that was all this weekend that I, I found this area that I want to live in. Um, 
and um, it, it's made things feel a lot more real. It's made it made things. Oh no, I can't actually. Oh, I just buy ten. I have got gold on my other characters. I just don't have any on this character. Uh, maybe I can't even afford any. Um, is it deviled eggs? Uh, devilishly deviled eggs. We'll just take some of those. That's fine. Okay, we are going to start a group. It's Throne of the Tides plus four. Oh. Oh, thanks. I mean, sure, if you're giving it to me. <laughs> I'd say no, will I? Um, I just want to get, like, a Sophic Devotion on my weapon. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. Um, this is actually the first time that I've actually played in-game with people from streams. This is really nice. Um, I'm Enhancement. Weapon. Um, and it's going to be a Sophic. That's four, 420. I think because it is an ult, we can probably... Um, yeah, I'll just get a Sophic Rip for the second one. Oh, wait, Sophic Rip? And then Sophic Devotion. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Go. Okay, what's going on, have I? Uh, we need two DPS. I'll just take these guys. I mean, it's only a plus four, isn't it? I'm not going to start getting snobby on people. <laughs> plus four. Not on camera, anyway. God, I can't believe... I can't believe that they've announced Phase 3 of SOD like one week in advance. I can't believe that. Um... Did the other person decline? Looks like it. Yeah. I can't believe they've announced it. We, I, do you know what? I really wish Blizzard would like announce the seasons of retail and SOD it's like a month in advance. Three weeks in advance. Not literally, oh, it's coming out next Thursday. Because do you know what I was thinking last night? I was like, how can I as a YouTuber take a holiday? How can I go on holiday? I can't. Not that I'm planning to go on holiday. <laughs> but if I wanted to go on holiday, how how could I? You know? Do you know what I mean? It's impossible. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me that they're going to announce Phase 3 of SOD a week in advance. Like, a week? I always want to take a few days off when I say... Well, exactly. <coughs> like, I can generally take time off work. Generally, whenever I need, it is literally year end um, of the financial year. And I work in finance, so I cannot take any time off next week. It's my busiest week of the year. Um, but if it's on Thursday, then it's a bit more doable. Um, yeah. But the thing is, like, I've spent the last... I've spent the last three weeks... Preparing for what's being announced after this dungeon. And I spent the last three weeks, four weeks preparing for that. I've also spent the last like month preparing for season four of Dragonflight. Um, like I'm nearly fully prepared now for season four of Dragonflight. And, you know, they've just put a huge spanner in the works. Like now I... I'll help someone. Now I literally... No, I'm not complaining. I'm actually really excited. I don't want to sound like one of those YouTubers like, oh, my life's so difficult. No, I'm, I'm really excited that it's coming out. Um, when, I, when I've been preparing for what's coming, um, when I've been... Where is the... Have I got war mode on? Oh, no wonder. I, I Again, I'm going to turn that off when we get back. Pro probably, like, yeah, I, I think it will... I really think it will, you know. I, I have a feeling that it's going to be... Um, I have a feeling it's going to be the 1st of May or the 8th of May. I would like it if it was the 8th of May, personally. The 8th of May would work really well for me. 
In fact, that would if it went live on the 8th of May, I would be the happiest person on the planet. Um, yeah. But I've spent the last month... Um, I've spent the last month preparing for Season 4, and I've still got a lot more to prepare for Season 4. Um, but I'm getting there. I don't need to put that much work into it now. I have um, also spent the last month... Um, preparing for some other things that I'll be talking about in a bit after this dungeon, of course. And, um... I haven't really been releasing any videos. If you actually look at my... Um... If you look at my... My, my YouTube channel... You'll actually see... Everyone's ready. I'm just going to activate it. I don't really need a countdown. Not for this low. Um... You'll see, I've only really posted, like, I've been, obviously, I stream every Monday, but I haven't really been releasing videos in March. And the reason for that is, there's been no new season or anything coming out, so I've just been focusing on preparing for the next ones. You know, um, like I said about, you know, why I'm not doing a Holy Paladin one until season four. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my God. So, I'm guessing now, this next week is going to be absolutely crazy. Luckily, there is the Easter weekend. There is the Easter weekend coming. Um, you know, I've got sort of Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I can, I'll be doing a crazy amount of preparation for Season of Discovery Phase 3 over then. That's really exciting. Oh! <laughs> April is going to be so crazy. April and, April and May. Which is what I've wanted because I'm, I'm a bit bored at the moment. Even though, like I've just been saying, I've been doing so much preparation. Um, preparation for things upcoming. It's all been that. Preparation. There's been no... You know, the funnest part about doing YouTube is releasing videos, seeing the feedback, seeing people get excited for those videos, obviously seeing those views, making, you know, making the money, I'm not going to lie. Um, and, you know, obviously you, you do that when, when you're releasing videos. And in a seasonal game like this, um, if there's no kind of season coming out, um, you know, that month, then there's not really much that you can, that you can put out, um, for me anyway, so, yeah, it's, um, it's been, like, March has been kind of boring for me, working literally all day and all night on the stuff I've got upcoming for you guys, but nothing to really show for it, you know, um, like, for all you guys know, I've been doing nothing for all of March, when actually I've been working literally every waking hour there is, and you're like, well, on what? There's nothing here. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's like, I hate that. I like to actually get it out and 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 do it. And, oh my God, something else that's really exciting on YouTube. We are now, um, my goal was by the end of March. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. But we're close enough that I'm really happy about it. Um, my goal was to hit 10,000 subscribers um, by the end of March. But again, it, it's, all, it's all kind of um, depends on... On, the, on if, it, if something comes out, you know, my subscribers and, and views go up when the season comes out, you know, evidently. Um, but we're like 400, 300, about 307, 350 ish, 350 ish from 10,000. And I'm like, <laughs> sorry, what? Like, that is so crazy. Isn't that so crazy? Oh my goodness gracious me, it's so crazy. So, yeah. Oh, there's a lot happening. <laughs> there's a lot happening, guys. Oh, my God. Easter has just gotten crazy for me. But I'm excited for that. So, next Thursday, you know. Oh, my God. Phase three. Yeah, April is going to be a bit nuts. And May. Because May... We'll, we'll definitely have season four by the end of May. That, that's, you know, absolute. Um, we're definitely going to have it by then. You're scaring me. Watch your step. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm in the crap. Oh my god, I'm walking into people. Oh my god, guys. I'm like uh, having such a chill stream today. Like, I am literally like, what are we doing? We're just healing, surging our way through life today. You know, but there's, there's really nothing much to it. Oh my goodness gracious me. I mean, my eye level is also. 418. <laughs> 418. You know, holy moly. 
It's not it's not good, I'll tell you that much. My eye level is not too good, guys. So yeah, we've got um and, and, and when does cataclysm come out? You know, that's that's a that's a good question, isn't it? When does cataclysm come out? That's what I wanna know. Um, I don't know if we're looking at like, because it's interesting, right? Because they're obviously not going to do those two close together. So, uh, as in the war within and Cataclysm, like I'm thinking end of August, start of September, it may be, for the war within. Honestly, I would like it if um, Cataclysm came out in like July? Maybe? Maybe July? Yeah. I guess, I don't know. Yeah, maybe July. I don't know, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really interesting because both The War Within and Cataclysm are gonna be my first ever expansions as a content creator, um, you know, an expansion launch. So it'll be really nice to be able to do the Cataclysm launch as a kind of, Preparation. Oh, do you know what? That's one thing I didn't buy was um, my mana's fine, but my first one thing I didn't buy was mana um, drinks. But it's fine. My mana's fine. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. And then one thing I want to put on here really quickly is um, uh, is it not in? AOE incoming. Oh no! Cancel that. Do you know what we should do after the dungeon? Let's let's do it after the dungeon, shall we? Shockwave. Despair. My um healing rain is really weird. It's like being... It's acting strange. Sunny day, sunny day. So yeah, we've got what? We've got... um. Yeah, do you see? It's like not appearing every time. I don't know if it's a bug or if I'm doing something wrong. But um, we've got season three of SOD coming. Um, then we've got season four of... Dragonflight. Then we should get Cataclysm. Um, and then we should have the War Within, I guess. Yeah. Gosh, it's all happening. But at least it means that if they've, if they've announced Phase 3 of SOD, that we can expect there to be an announcement regarding uh, Season 4 soonish, I guess. Soonish, I guess. I would assume. But they'll, they, they don't normally do that one week in advance, right? They norm, Do they normally uh, announce the season like a few months in advance? A few weeks in advance? Did I say months? I don't know what I just said. Yeah, is it the same as like... I don't think it's usually like... No. I don't think it's normally like one week, is it? Oh, I'm surprised that took me past the pillar then. <laughs> Very nice. I feel like I'm like the slowest person on planet Earth right now. I don't know why my Charlotte feels so slow. It's so weird. Broadway, sunny day, sunny day, sunny day. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. I was just, um, I asked my friend, a YouTube friend, um, how his channel was going. Because he, um, he, uh, oh shit, wrong person. He hit 100,000 subscribers, like, two weeks ago, I want to say. And he's now hit quarter of a million. So he hit 100,000, like, two weeks ago, and he's now hit a quarter of a million. I'm like, oh my god, that is so crazy. Control. How long are you going to Greece for, Lyanne? Is it a week, right? Oh. It? Funny, I'm not getting ill. Oh, God. Oh, no! Okay, it's dead. So I'm like playing so badly. I I usually um yeah look you see that like look it's not showing up. I wonder if it's like an error with my with like a weak aura or something. Maybe I update my add-ons because look there's there's no and that's healing rain. There's nothing there. I don't know why. Interrupt. very odd a week of loads of gyros and souflaki and feta and tzatziki oh my god i went to a greek restaurant my favorite greek restaurant oh my god on friday night oh my god it's so good the like literally has anybody here had um phyllo pastry like feta Feta filled phyllo pastry in honey. Oh my god. It's like insanity. Literally insanity. It's like the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. I'm so addicted to it when I have it. But I mean, you can't have that every day because, like, oh my god, like, imagine the calories, right? I used to love it. It's so good, isn't it? It is one of my favorite things on this earth. Hey, Shreyas. Three years, four months, and five days. Well, there you go. Ah, hello. Isn't that so crazy? How are you doing? Isn't that so crazy? So crazy. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Let's put healing going to say. It's been so long. I know. So I actually... You probably don't have a clue about this. Do you know what's really funny, mate? Is every, every stream... Somebody else comes in. <laughs> you probably would have known half of them. But, like, it's, like, always one person each stream that comes in. And, um... And it's like, oh, my God, you're back. And I'm like, yeah. Sag Saganatki? I actually don't know. I don't know the official name for it. Yeah, I remember you, of course. Um, somebody has, like, come in each stream, but it's always, like, a different person. Stay at you. <laughs> um... A few of them I didn't remember. <laughs> so a few of them I didn't have a clue who they were. But I do I do um, World of Warcraft content now. Um, pretty successfully, I would say. I, I got monetized in on YouTube like last summer and then last November. So a few months ago, I moved over to World of Warcraft, which is actually what I originally left Minecraft. La I left WoW for Minecraft because of content back in 2020. And, and and then, yeah, finally I've gone back to my roots. Um, and it's all going really, really well. And I stream every Monday in it now. Um, you know, content's going out. I'm about to hit 10,000 subscribers. Uh, what of Warcraft is a Grundy, is a Grundy fan? Wait, what does that mean? I don't get that. What does that mean? Um, oh, Grindy Game. Yeah, it is. But that's that's what where my passion really lies, you know. It was never really in Minecraft. Like I enjoy it. I actually had a bit of a craving for Minecraft recently, but it's not really where my passion is, you know. Oh, really? How are they going? Do, 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 do. 
after I'll probably play Red Dead Redemption 2. It's, a, you know, I've got a few mates that play that. I've never really, I don't think it's going to be for me. How many exams have you got? Have you got, how many you got to do? And how many have you done, if you've done any so far? Yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. I mean, it's amazing. Like, it, it really is looking like content could become a full-time job for me. Um, within the next, like, maybe 18 months. I don't know. I mean, the way my life has been going these last six months because of content and the way it's continuing to go because of content is, like, I don't know. This, this week, this week things are feeling quite real and I it's making me a bit, like, uh, emotional because there's, like, a lot going on at the moment and it's crazy. It must not pollute my water. Wait, so, so phase three is coming next week. Do we even know what runes we're getting? I imagine the data mining is going to start. I imagine we're going to get the data mining going cray, cray, cray. Red Dead Redemption: The World seems very alive. Like, yeah, I, I've seen, um, I've, I've seen a lot of it. Can, what about my healing waters? Will they work? Can I use my healing waters? On your, your putrid, your royal putridness. You are so putrid and nasty. Reckon they're telling, testing the runes in plunder at the moment. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's my answer to that. So, think about that. Why don't you think about that? Oh, maybe I should look at the screen. Oh, actually, on a boss after all. Oh, the power of pure water. Power of pure water. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's almost guaranteed. Like, it's so obvious to me that they're going to make it a... They've, they've done it as a limited time to make it a limited time. <laughs> but it's not going to be a limited time. You know? It's a periwinkle cloak. I've always wanted a periwinkle cloak. And now I've got one. Is this game like Diablo? No, not really. <laughs> Um, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to leave the group. Um, if you guys want to go to another one, we can do another one if you want. Um, honestly, guys, I am thinking, like, should I just do, like, the whole announcement here and now while we're here? Should we just announce the whole thing? I could do, couldn't I? You know, um... Are you done with keys? No, I'm, I'm not done with keys. Um, I'm not done with keys. I've just... So. Okay, guys. I... I do you know what? I, do you guys want me to? Shall I just announce the whole... The whole thing that's coming? I was going to announce it fully next Monday. But considering Phase 3 of SOD is coming out. Um, which is going to make me very, 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 very busy over the next few days of the weekend I am thinking like maybe I just tell you all now okay so everyone basically as you all know I started um, this content and, and all of this in November and I basically saw there was a gap, um, a gap in the market, and people in World of Warcraft, especially beginners, were not being served anything. Well, they were, but I didn't think there was anything good quality out there that beginners could really learn. And so I decided that, you know what, I don't, I'm not in love with Minecraft, I'm in love with World of Warcraft, and I want to help people, so I am going to do beginner guides for as many specs as I can and I achieved that and then I said you know what phase um phase one of season discovery is coming out why don't I try out that as well and that also went very well for me you know and that has all gone exceptionally well now over the last sort of month or two um in this kind of downtime that we've had since mid-feb I have been leveling up lots of characters so that I can 
do the next phase of that, which is adding another string to my bow, which is going to be Cataclysm. I'm not doing Wattle guides, but at, at the moment, then I've been doing retail guides, PVE, and I've been doing SOD guides for everything. I am then planning to do Cataclysm guides for PVE and PVP when it releases, meaning that I will then be doing SOD, retail, and classic progression realms as well. Now, Cataclysm is taking me a gargantuan amount of time, and I've been working my ass off the last sort of month or two to get those characters leveled up at 80 so that they're ready for Cataclysm. And I've been looking at my analytics, and I've been, you know, earning an, a good amount of money um, sometimes, sometimes not very much money. And I realise that it really depends on, on what is out. And I've also realised that once I've got those characters levelled in Cataclysm, that honestly, like, while I'm waiting for retail to come out, like, you know, wait, while I'm waiting for Season 4 to come out, while I'm waiting for Phase 3 to come out of SOD, um, because I can prepare for that, like, you know, I could spend a day or two just preparing for that. Really, I don't have that much to do. Um, you know? Apart from streaming. And obviously streaming doesn't make me... I, I I would say I make about £10 a month from streaming currently, from subscriptions, etc. I make about £10 a month from streaming. Which obviously is literally nothing. I really appreciate the people who do subscribe. But realistically, I'm making about £10 a month. You know, it buys me a coffee or two. So I can't be streaming tons and not doing YouTube videos because that's where I'm earning most of my money. And when I first started all of this, I had a pipe dream. And I've been about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago. I don't remember the, when it exactly happened, but it was a good few weeks ago. I kind of thought to myself, you know what? Like, I think I can make this pipe dream um, happen. So... I am making it happen, and what you may know, not know about me is I actually have a second YouTube channel that is not used whatsoever. You have like 15 watches at the same time? Yeah. Um, that is unused. And it has about 800 subscribers. Now, to get monetized on YouTube, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And if you do know me, which many of you may know me quite well already, I would say, I am a workaholic. I love working. I love YouTube. I love building a community. It's my favorite thing ever. And for the last three or four weeks, I have been preparing to launch a second YouTube channel in April. In about three weeks time two to three weeks time i don't have an exact date yet for the same the reason i don't have an exact date is because of like what we've just seen in season of discovery i don't have an exact date because i don't know the exact date it could be a week in advance boom it's coming you know like just like season of discovery has been you know blizzard of just like you know what you know blizzard of just like oh oh here it comes straight down the toilet you know, and it's landed on our, you know, on our face. That's how, you know, SOD Phase 3 um, has just came out. Um, same thing with that. So, I mean, this is like just crazy. I'm really... I, I, I didn't want to announce this. I didn't want to announce it. Um, I wasn't initially going to announce it until after it had launched. Which sounds crazy, I know. But I'm so nervous about this. Um... I, I'm so, so nervous to launch this second channel. Um, I guess just as I was nervous to launch my first channel, you know? But I really think this can be a massive success. It is going to be covering... Um, so the launch phase of the channel is... And I'm going to go for a roadmap with you in a minute. The launch phase of the channel is going to be um, over a, a long period, a, a sh well, a short period of time, but a long period of time. The launch phase of the channel is going to start off in mid-April, and I would anticipate it wouldn't complete the launch phase until maybe mid-summer. 
middle of summer, end of summer. It's going to take a few months to get it to get the ball rolling. But I would say, um, oh my god, Mackenzie. Hi, Mackenzie. How are you? How are you okay? How are you? Last time I spoke to you, you had a lot going on. I'm still on a public channel. I don't like don't be airing your dirty laundry on the stream. No, but are you okay? How are you? Um, sorry, I was like just a name I haven't seen in a while. So, it's gonna take about three, four months to get the channel going. I'm like really. Not it's like making me emotional, guys, because I um like. When I when I started this YouTube channel in November for WoW, I had a goal that basically YouTube could like change my life and you know be, being able to do things in my life that I wasn't financially able to do and WoW alone has um really helped get the ball rolling on that front. But evidently as we've just discussed the seasons in WoW a far and few between. It's There's not something happening every month. And because of that, there is large downtimes in my content and financial stability is not built off of peaks and trough in content like that. You know, as somebody who is self-employed, it, it, just, it just doesn't work. So in, I am gonna be launching a second channel in the middle of April, and I'm really happy to confirm, this is so crazy, I, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, this is going to cover, to start, the launch phase is going to cover five different games, okay? If you, if you think then, it's going to cover five different games in the launch phase, with the opportunity and the potential to even do more games, depending on how much time I have, because I'm not an octopus. But depend. But the, the launch phase is going to be five games. And when I say that, if you think about WoW, you could technically say that currently I cover two games. I cover retail WoW, and I beginner PVE, and I cover season of discovery. I want to increase the WoW channel that you're currently watching on to cover what I would call four to five games. So retail PVE, retail PVP, five different markets, retail PVE, retail PVP, classic progression realms, and SOD. Okay, so four. Clearly I can't count. In the same way then that the new channel is going to be covering Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Diablo 4, Diablo Immortal, and after that, Path of... No, it's not. Not Path of Exile. <laughs> I'm not doing Path of Exile. The Last Epoch. I don't even know what games I'm doing, guys. I don't even know what games I'm doing. Um, Yeah. So, mid-April then... I am going to be launching my second channel, and that is going to be starting off in the middle of April with the new Season 25 of Diablo Immortal. After that, we, or it's going to be like the same time, I am also going to be launching in April Diablo 3 on the same channel. Mid-May... I will then be launching, for Season 4, Diablo 4. And potentially, for Season 7 of Diablo 2 as well. I don't know um, when Diablo 2 Season 7 comes out. What have I done so far then? I can confirm I have spent a lot of time working my... Self off. I didn't want to swear, but I've spent weeks of time working on um, 
getting Diablo 3 prepared. And I can tell you that it is pretty much ready to go on for Diablo 3. I am pretty much ready to go, nearly. Um, I've got the grunt work. The most of the, most of the, the brunt of the work is done and ready for Diablo 3. So that is confirmed. Diablo 4 is also um, confirmed that the grunt work has been done. Diablo Immortal uh, is nearly done. My goal was at the end of this week, I would have Diablo 4 and Diablo Immortal completely ready to go. That is still my goal. However, they've just put a spanner in the works with SOD, of course. But hey, I've got to do it all, right? So, you know, this is going to be a fun challenge. Diablo 2, I have not started preparing for whatsoever. Um, so whether I actually will be able to launch Diablo 2 for Season 7 or not is unknown. Hopefully I will be able to. I don't know. I don't know when it comes out, so I don't know. Um, but I will be doing Diablo 2. Um, but I have a lot of preparation work to do for that in the same way that I had a lot of preparation work for Cataclysm. Um, but it is, it is launching middle of April. I'm so excited. And then Path of Exile um, Season 1. I would love to be able to get going for Path of Exile. Sorry. The last epoch. Last epoch. Season 1, I would hope to. But again, I haven't done as much preparation for that yet. And I don't know if I will be ready in time for Season 1. But do know, um, Diablo 3, 4 and Immortal are completely ready. And they will be, um, I will be posting on launch days for those. Diablo 2 and The Last Epoch, fingers crossed I will be. But I have a hell of a lot going on already. Um, and then... And then, um, I mean, it has the potential. I will evaluate at that point, once the launch phase of those five games is over. Um, you know, obviously we've got The War Within, Cataclysm, etc. launching this summer. FYI, I am not scaling back whatsoever in World of Warcraft, okay? And that is a promise for me. If anything, I am upscaling like crazy in World of Warcraft. I am not cutting back on WoW. I am doubling the amount of content I am releasing for World of Warcraft. Um, just I'm also now going to be doing content for five other games on my second channel. And I will put the channel link in the Discord over the next few days so you can subscribe in advance. Because I really do need help getting to a thousand subscribers so we can start getting monetized on there. Um, but yeah, that's happening. This is happening. Um, I am so incredibly nervous. I I can't tell you. I cannot tell you how nervous I am. This second channel paired with WoW. Basically, what it means is, and this is why I'm like literally so overwhelmed right now. And like, it's so crazy is because, like I said, in the WoW seasonal calendar, there are peaks and troughs, right? A retail season, um, put it this way, in January and in March, nothing released for World of Warcraft. And I made a third of what I made than when a season does release. So when retail season three came out, I made three times the amount what I've made in March. You know? And that's like what I mean about the peaks and troughs in the WoW calendar. What this is going to do... I, I, I won't burn myself out. And this is actually the point, Watermelon. <laughs> is the point is, in January and in March, there hasn't really been much to do. Like, there hasn't been much. To, I've been working my ass off preparing for these channels. But once I've gotten it all prepared, it's prepared, you know? Um, and then I can just keep the ball rolling. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't really have anything to do in January and March. So, you know, I said to myself, look, if I want to be a creator full-time one day, and I love the content I do do, I need to be doing something else in those peaks and troughs. And being able to do, um, I, do I have a job or do I do YouTube full-time? I actually have, um, I would consider quite a high pressure, nine to five, yeah. Uh, I work in finance. I work, I have a finance nine to five. Um... So yeah, so this is hopefully going to fill in those peaks and troughs in content, meaning that I've got a much more consistent content schedule. You know, a machine going. Um, I don't, I don't get sponsors. No, I don't have any sponsors. Um, 
Yeah, it's happening, guys. I'm so excited, but I I'm just like so nervous because because it can fill in the gaps in content in my content schedule. It does mean that it has the potential to be life changing for me. And <laughs> like, it's, it's, uh, I just don't know. It's just a lot, right? It's just a lot. It is just so, it's just such a lot. So it, it's so crazy. I didn't. I haven't been ignoring the chat. I just wanted to get all of that out, like a big speech. Um, Lyanne asked why um, why a different channel because it's not World of Warcraft. Havi Heels is a healer in World of Warcraft. The other channel, which I nearly slipped up and let you know the name of it yet. I've got a few tweaks to do just to make sure it's ready before I, I give you the guys the link. Um, but um, if anyone wants to come to more keys, by the way, let me know now. I'm going to be doing another key. Um, but yes, it, um, it's not a World of Warcraft channel. Hence why it's on another YouTube channel, to put it, to put it simply. Um, I mean, I could sit here for half an hour and explain how YouTube works, but I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> I don't think it'd be that interesting, um, the ins and outs of how YouTube works. But yeah, it's 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 not World of Warcraft, but yeah, um, I hope it is, man. You have some of the best and easiest to understand content I've come across in years for WoW. And without, and without blowing my head off with arrogance, I agree. <laughs> no, but quite frankly... Okay, I'm gonna be really honest. Um, about a week ago, I was I was looking about a week ago. I was I was looking about a week ago um, at. Do you know what? It's so funny, Shreyas, because you went, "Is this game like Diablo?" And I nearly went, "Oh, Diablo! The announcement!" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, right, that's not happening, happening yet." Um, let's check away Chris Manor like this too. Um. I was looking when I when I started researching into this. I thought, you know, obviously I'm a business guy, I'm a finance guy. I may be very high energy and a bit like, uh, you know, really crazy. And I look, I'm very sort of um, ADHD esque personality. Um, I actually am a very logical thinker. I'm an accountant for a very very. You know, my, my job is very very serious that I do, and. Um, I, um, you know, when I'm actually not on camera, I'm actually very, very serious, and I, I do, a, I, I'm very methodical, and, I, you know, this channel has, ADHD plus, yeah, that's right, Lynx, ADHD plus, ADHD plus, um, plus, 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 I think, um, the thing is, like, I, I've been researching, and it's funny, funny what you're saying, but Watermelon saying about, oh, you have the easiest, most digestible content on YouTube, wow, I was researching into some Diablo guide givers, and without sounding arrogant, well, I hate when people say that, I hate when I say that, without sounding arrogant, no, what I'm about to say is incredibly fucking arrogant, um, I looked at some guides out there, and I thought, these are shit. <laughs> I, I looked at them and thought, really, bitch? Like, really? Is this all I've got? Like, I literally put in a YouTube search, for some stuff, I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not re revealing too much, but I literally put out some searches. Wait, did I even get accepted to that? I'm here like they've accepted me. They haven't. Um, I put out some searches for Diablo free, and I was like, I watched a guide from a YouTuber. No hate to them, but I watched it and was like. Is this a sick joke? <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the sub, Waterman. I really appreciate it. Um, this man thrives in making every waking moment as productive as possible. Yeah, and that's that's actually true. I, I don't know if you're saying it as a joke or deadly serious or maybe both, but it, yeah, literally. When people say to me, like you, Watermelon, and I, I don't mean this as in like, don't say this to me, but to like educate on how I work as a person, I really do enjoy, and I, you know, like you can wake up on the right side of the bed or the wrong side of the bed. For me, like next week when SOD phase three releases, I literally will wake up like that and jump out of bed because I cannot wait to film those videos. And it's like the most stressful day ever. And it's crazy. That is when I'm in my element. Um, oh my God. I love it. I live for it. I really, I, you know, when people like put on their CV, I thrive in a high pressure environment. Like that is literally me. Um, and you know, I just can't get over like how excited I am. 
I do have a lot riding on the success of it, um, which is why I was so nervous to announce it. I have I have a lot riding on the success of this this new channel. But you know what, guys? I think I can do it. I, I really think I can do it. Did we do a fall or a rise earlier? A rise. We could do a fall. Um. Yeah, I hope you guys come along for the journey. And you know what's really interesting, guys? A lot of World of Warcraft players are also people who play ARPGs, like Diablo. It seems to have a huge crossover. But 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 genuinely, I literally looked up um, a Demon Hunter guide, uh, a, a, a specific Demon Hunter guide for Season 30 of Diablo 3, and there was like one person had made it. There was, a lot of people had made guides, but like uh, the few I watched... And I literally was watching it thinking, yes, we're in season 30, but people are still probably buying Diablo or even people who are playing it. Like the guy was going on and on and on and, on and waffling on. And I thought like, <laughs> it was as digestible as the rock hard shit I shot out this morning into the toilet. Like that's how digestible it was. You know? Like... I, I was literally like, is is this my competition? Like, are you kidding me right now? This is my competition? And I actually, I'm not saying it's bad content. What I'm saying is it's not digestible. And I think it was the same issue in World of Warcraft, where a lot of the guides out there are amazing guides. Um, one I get commenting, commented on a lot is Nagura's guides. I actually love her. I think she's amazing. I think she's an amazing content creator. Um, I like watching her streams sometimes. I, I'm sure I haven't watched I haven't watched them, but I'm sure her guides are probably amazing. But I get so many people commenting on my YouTube going, "Oh, I've watched all these other videos," and I get people specifically mentioning her sometimes and go, "I watched her video and I never clue what was going on." And I watch yours and it's really digestible. So it's like I think there's a very specific audience I'm very good at catering to, and I I, I know how to do that very well. And I'm gonna do that exact same thing that I have done in World of Warcraft that you guys love, but I'm going to be doing it in Diablo 3, 4, at least a Diablo 5 then, Diablo 2, Diablo Immortal, and The Last Epoch. So basically, it is going to be mainly a Diablo channel, but it is generally an ARPG channel. And what that does mean is, if in the future I have time, yes, I could be doing Path of Exile content, and all of the other RPGs that are out there. Like, if I if I end up having... Like, put it this way, right? I, earlier today, looked at my potential schedule. I looked at my potential schedule for the summer. And there is actually a potential over the next sort of four months or so that I actually may have, like, a whole month. Potentially, potentially. We don't know, right? Like, look, phase three of SOG just got announced today in a week so i can't say this conf confidently but a guesstimate there could end up being a month over the summer where i still even after doing diablo 2 3 4 immortal and the last epoch there could still be times where i have an entire month at, you know and wow an entire month at a time with nothing to do if that happens it probably is like yes javier take a holiday but i'm just saying like you know, I, 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 there still is an, a ch the potential that I could do other stuff. I could at that point start outsourcing. Um, you know, I could get an editor. I could get somebody, you know, I ended up in the... I have got an amazing person, um, but I could end up getting someone to do my thumbnails at that point and still do more. You know, I could start making it more into a machine at that point. I don't know. I do do everything myself at the moment and I love it. Um, but I'm just saying there is the potential for more. I'm not thinking into that. I'm not planning anything else. But I am guaranteeing I will be doing those five games on that channel from April. What it does mean is that I'll be doing SOD Phase 3 next week, middle of April then, and then then you've got like a two-week gap. I'll have two weeks. I'll probably do all of my SOD content in like a week, and then I'll have a week with not much happening, planning for Diablo 3 and Diablo Immortal. And then after that, if if phase sorry if season four doesn't come out until May, I'll then have like two weeks again, still with nothing to do. Not nothing to do, but I'll have two weeks of like, eh, 
you know? Um, which is cool. Um, and then, you know, first two weeks of May, say it comes out, season four of WoW, say it comes out on the like, 2nd of May or whatever. Two weeks I do that. And then mid-May, it's Diablo 4. And then I do that. And then it's like, oh my god. You know, once the whole... For my channels to be fully up and running, for my for my channels to be fully up and running, see where these people are. I will need to actually launch Cataclysm. I I need Cataclysm to launch. I need season four of WoW because I haven't done any. I'm doing PvP, potentially advanced guides, um, and I still haven't done every single class guide for PVE. So for my channel to be properly up and running to the max potential I've been trying to get it, you know. I mean, if you look at my channel, every time something's come out, I do more and more. But to be at my max potential, I need Cataclysm to launch, so that we can do classic progression. I need Season 4 of Dragonflight, so I can do PvE and PvP. I'm gonna need the new season of Diablo 3, Diablo Immortal, Diablo 2, and Diablo 4, and the first season of Last Epoch. Like, I'm not gonna be at full... Like, you know, we're not going to be at full, full, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know, what's the word? There's like a word I'm missing. But we're not going to be at full, full, full throttle. That's it. We're not going to be at full throttle until end of the summer. Realistically, end of the summer. That's when we're going to be at full throttle. Isn't that insane? That's literally insanity to me. Uh, that is literally insanity. Frotto. <laughs> yeah, full throttle. Yeah, end, end of summer. And like, I'm so, I just want it to be now, guys. I just want it to be now. I just want to, um, all I literally want is to like skip forward in time. So I'm looking at getting my own place um, around November time. That's when I'm going to be moving out and getting my own place. And that's kind of perfect, right? Because I will have all of that going by then. Um, you know, all of the all of the WoW content I want to do for you guys. So you, if you, I want you guys. My dream would be you guys would go. Hey, I want to, I want to do a Holy Paladin. Have Havi out teach me how. Hey, I want to do Vengeance Demon Hunter. These, these are specifically ones I haven't done yet. Havi out tell me how. Oh, I want to look at every single individual tank. Oh, I'll check out Javier's videos. I want to learn every single healer and choose which one I want to do. The goal would be that every single 39 specs, you know that within the first week or two of a patch, I've got you covered. And for PvP, you know, and in SOD, and in classic progression, that you can just, you just, I want you to be able to feel confident that you know I've done everything every season in a timely manner, so you're not waiting, and you could just get it on demand, you know? that That is my goal. It actually, like, makes me, like, I hate it when people comment on my YouTube, and I've had like three comments in the last two days. Not I hate it as in I hate you doing this, but I hate it when people comment on my YouTube like, Holy Paladin video, Holy Paladin video, where's your Demon Hunter videos, where's your Demon Hunter videos, and I haven't done them, and it makes me feel really sad because I'm like, I wish, like I want you guys to have the confidence, like yeah, I've done, I don't think I've done a bad job, I think I've done great, but I want you guys to feel confident that whatever spec you want to do, you just, you, you have the confidence to know like, that it's there. Um, and I'm hoping from season four of Dragonflight that is what will happen. And that it doesn't matter which phase of WoW. Five, right now it's just SOD four, three, and retail, two, but not classic progression. And in Kata, you'll then have that as well, which will be really amazing. You'll have that confidence then that I have. You can check any type of WoW. Um, and then it'll be the same with Diablo. Oh, I want to play a monk, a crusader, a demon hunter. Oh, I can do all of them, you know? Um... What's the best for PvE Diablo Immortal free to play? I can't really answer that yet. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm still preparing for Diablo Immortal. Yes, the season ends in 18 days. No, I'm not fully prepared for it yet. Um, I couldn't tell you like the best specs to play yet. I will be able to by the next season, but I, I, I can't answer that yet. Um... I'm, I'm still learning the nuances of how free-to-play and pay-to-play 
kind of work Watchers. with, you know, legendary gems um, and things like that. I'll tell you what, it's a really good game. It is insane how good Diablo Immortal is. Like, oh my God. I, when I first tried it, with the potential to do content for it, I was like, mm, it's a mobile game, which you can play on PC. I can't imagine it's as good as Diablo 3 or 4. I think it's probably my favorite. Like, it's insanity how good it is. And then I looked at it from the other side and thought, actually, it's a pay to, it's a pay to win game. They actually would technically put more dev time into it because it probably makes more money. And I looked at it from that perspective and thought, actually, yeah, do you know what? Um... So, actually, question for you then, Shreyas, if you're still in the chat. Would you, as... Because this is the kind of feedback I'd love to get now. Would you... Like, what I'll probably do... Um, and again, I haven't started this channel yet. The way the channel starts, you know, I'm going to be learning as I'm doing it. And taking on that feedback, just as I have from Retail WoW and SOD. Um be taking on that feedback as the channel progresses to how people want the content and what they want so like take for instance when i started my retail wow videos i had my priority pyramid um which a lot of guides are still using but my newer guides don't have that it's a lot better version um of that um and um, what else? Oh, like I started off my, my first few retail guides. Um, only had one like uh, rotation. And now I include a separate one for Mythic Plus and for raiding. And actually, when I start doing season four, I'm actually going a step further, which I did trial out on my enhancement guide and people really enjoyed it, which is I'm going to do a Mythic Plus guide, a raiding guide in, in the same video this is, and then I'm actually going to show you a super simplified version of the spec if you think that those are too complex. Meaning that there is truly, in Season 4 of Dragonflight, going to be something for everyone. Um, right now, for a lot of guides, like for Beastmaster Hunter, it's only one spec I've shown. Um, which I don't think is great. But it was like my first video. So, you know, understandable. Whereas the newer videos, there's generally a Mythic Plus rotation and a Raid rotation. Okay, pretty good. A lot more people seem to like that. And it was at that point that I got rid of the Priority Pyramid and changed it for a better better visual. But again, Beastmaster is... I haven't updated the video. It's still the old one. And then in my Enhancement Shaman video, which I released a few weeks ago, I, I then went one step further and then incorporated the Mythic Plus Raid and, and, and Beginner Spec. Um, I think you mentioned me, but I was getting slaughtered in Blunder. Oh, I've got no idea. Sorry, I don't remember. I have no idea. I, uh, no, I don't know. Um. But yeah, so season four of Dragonflight, you know, you're going to get the best, the, the best content from me. Um, everything I've learned throughout season one, uh, sorry, season three. Um, I'm putting into practice in Season 4 so that all of the guides will be at that top quality that you now may have come to expect, depending on what ones you've watched. Um, like, if you watch my first few and then watch my latest sort of five videos, you'll notice it's a completely different standard of quality, which is really interesting. Um, and obviously, I'll be moving forward, um, you know, with that in, in, in Season 4. Um, and it's going to be the same in Diablo. You know, it's going to be the same in Diablo. Um, and that and that kind of stuff. I have an idea what I think people will like, but I don't know because I'm not psychic. So, you know, the first season of each game is going to be trial and error. So if anyone is an ARPG fan, please do let me know what sort of things you um, find that are issues, um, that are issues in the um, market at the moment, things you want to see, etc. And you know, give me that feedback if you are a player. Um, just keep them really simple. Are you talking about Diablo? It's funny you say that because the ARPG genre is like literally the opposite of simple. It's like the idea of that genre is for pink things to be as complex as possible, um, which is what I'm really excited about. But I, I, I'm i definitely going to make them in a way that is digestible, I think I would say is the word. Just like how my, my, my WoW guides, I would say, are hopefully very... Um, 
very very digestible um even though some of them are technically complex it, it's 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 make I, I would say that my my motto would be like making complex making making the complex di digestible that doesn't really sound like a very good motto <laughs> i have to work on that one Targeting. um but yeah We'll, we'll see. But yeah, so it's a lot happening and I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really excited. But yeah, I, I, I'm just... I, to digestible you are! <laughs> I, I'm just really excited to see how these next sort of... The next few months of this year go, guys. I, I, I don't think I can comprehend it. I don't think I can comprehend it. I, I, I'm feeling like really emotional. Like... I'm really nervous. I'm really emotional. I, I I think when that channel is up and running, and the two channels are running side by side, I, I think it's gonna be like really itchy ear. I think I think it's gonna be like put it this way. Let's say it's up and running by September. It's my birthday in September. I think I'm gonna have to have a huge celebration for my birthday because oh my gosh, like. The way I started this year, compared to how it's going to end, could be life-changing. Really life-changing. Should I maybe do the tactics chat, do you think? Oh dear. But the stream! Yeah, probably. I probably will do one. How are you, Lou? Oh, I caramba, baby. Look at this big daddy mess. How are you doing, lovely? Have you had a good week? No, it's Monday, isn't it? Are you having a good, are you having a good Monday? How is that Monday going? I'm out of mana. That does not bode well, chat. Sorry, but it's not going well. Um, I'm doing okay. I mean, look at this mess, guys. I'm a mess. It warmed up a bit, so I got fresh air in the house today. It was really nice. It has been getting quite warm, hasn't it? Wait, you're in the US. Are you in the USA? I mean, look, it has been getting warm. Probably thinking we live in different countries. <laughs> oh my god, my ear is so itchy. Too long since we opened the windows. I open the windows like every day, every night. It could be minus two million degrees. The windows are open. I'm like one of those people. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm actually like a, a, I've frozen to death, but it's okay because the windows are open and I'm getting fresh air. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, my ear. Yeah. But yeah, so that's it, guys. I'm. I, I do you know what I feel? Grateful. I I feel really grateful. I feel very 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 thankful for for all of you, basically. Um, I just feel like so grateful, you know. Um, yo, yo, love the stream for going. Hey, Von Clownstick, thank you, buddy. For what? For watching and for being here, like it's stick? it's just a, like a lot. Um, there's like a lot of I, I can't explain why. Um. There's like a few people in this chat that know why, like the the success of my YouTube channel and my stream, my YouTube channels, I guess it'll be now. Like I was in like a very, 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 very bad place the last few years, and I've been like I, I physically did hit rock bottom. I'm not going to say what rock bottom was like. Um, as in, like, to what extent it was at that point, but it was like the like. I mean, I, I won, uh, there was a few times it was like uh, I was literally in hospital. Like an example, there was one point. I, I don't want to go too into depressing stuff and blah blah blah. Um, I'm sure it'll be a very upbeat channel, and this is upbeat. But there was there was like one point, like a year or two ago, I think last year, I literally was like hospitalised um, near death. And it was so bad that I literally like signed myself out of hospital. And the doctors were like, if you sign yourself out, like if you discharge yourself, 
they made me sign a thing and it literally said like um if discharges against advice like um like you could have a stroke a heart Watch attack um seizures like you could literally like it was like ultimately if if discharges against advice like high risk of death and i was like yep get me out like i've got to go i've got stuff to do like get me out because i was like trying to bury my i was burying myself in work and then i had very bad vices for getting over the burnout from work and then i, I spent all of last year trying to kind of get out of that um and the reason i was in that was because in my personal life i have a lot going Watch on that is really bad and i'm trying to get away from that that's all I can really say, and a large part of that is finances, needing the money to be able to, you know, like I put it. So, like, imagine if you live in like a war-torn country and you need, you don't have the money to escape that war-torn country. Imagine it like that, you know. It's, it's a nice situation. Um, and what's your step? You know, I've always wanted to be a content creator. I've always enjoyed doing content. And last November, when I started my, um, no, it's it's not that um it's not that but it's like it's just i mean i i'll i'll put it this way i was partying a lot um but that that was that's not my issue but um but i'll say i was partying a lot and that was a lot of money so <laughs> put it that way you know but basically like when in november um in november when i started my like wow channel i started obviously immediately earning a lot of money so M minecraft got me monetized and it was earning me 60 pound a month so nothing 60 stuff? and then when i started doing wow content in november i immediately was earning like um like a, a good amount of money let's say that, that pays the bills and then i could save money um so it's been like quite life-changing in that fact and it's meant that i can really work on getting to where i need to be and getting my own place which is what i'm looking at doing in um later this year which i'll be able to do and but like i said there's peaks and troughs in wow content right one month i could be earning enough to pay my bills the next month it's not really at all because there's no like there's no nothing coming out you know, like I now know that April will be a good financial month. Well, May will, because I get paid the month after from YouTube. But because nothing came out in March, there's not really, um, I'm not going to earn that much in April from YouTube because I didn't really earn that much in March because nothing happened in WoW. Whereas in April, we know Season of Discovery is coming out. And therefore, I know that in May, I'm going to take home a good amount of money that will help pay my bills. Do you see what I mean? Does that make sense? So when I say about the peaks and troughs in the content calendar and this second channel, which is hopefully going to really fill my calendar with content so that there's not a lot of downtime. Obviously, I do need some downtime, which I think I will. And I'm going to build it bit by bit, you know, and, and it, I'm, it's going to be really good. Um, that will mean that it could potentially mean that every single month, like imagine it this right imagine that there's a diablo season coming out and hopefully we can get that channel monetized and it'll do well and then imagine in the same month there's like a, a wow patch coming out and i'm earning money from both of them like it could it, it literally has like the potential to change my life within like a within like a six month period um do you know what i mean but like um, if nothing is happening in terms of present content, why don't you make some legacy content? To try? I don't know if it really do any do very well, but I like what I'm doing. GB, I, I really like what I'm like, kind of the stuff I do. But literally, like that's why it's so crazy is because the potential of WoW, and you know, like I said, my WoW channel isn't even fully up and running yet. No, it's it. Do you know what, Von? It's all getting. Everything is going so well. I have not been in this good of a place. In years. Everything is going so well right now. I'm exercising again every day. I'm going to go for a run after this stream. Um, I'm, I'm running like nearly every day. I'm getting back into my fitness. I used to love going to the gym. I haven't really been working out much. Um, like, if I'm angry, I want to get out of the house. Or if I'm pissed off about something, 
exercise I'm turning exercise into my vice, right? Like, you know, what do you do when you're pissed off? Some people go for a walk, which some people drink, you know, some people do Watch drugs. Um, I'm turning mine into into exercise. So that's that's what I'm doing and it's and it's working really well. I'm starting to get addicted to exercise again already, which is obviously amazing. Watch your step. So it, it's all going amazing. I don't want to so get that wrong. The only reason I'm Titans talking about that is because it's now turned a new leaf. You know, the leaf has already been turned. I'm talking about the past. So don't anyone, don't anyone like worry in here. I'm only telling you this because I'm out. I'm coming out the other side of it. You know, and I have been for well, when I started my WoW channel in November. I would say that's when things started going really, really well. Um, like you know, mentally and. Mentally and every single way. May I ask, do you pray? Sometimes, yeah. I'm, I am um, a Christian. And sometimes I do. I actually was like... I, I don't know if anyone... If there's any non-religious people in here or whatever. It sounds weird. But I, I was like... Talking to Jesus like earlier. I don't know if that sounds weird to some people. I don't know. But if you're religious, you kind of under you'll understand. Um, but I do like... And when things go well, you know... I, I, I thank the Lord. I, I, if, some, if, if a friend is going through something, I, I pray. You know, so, 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 I'm very thankful. I, it, it's weird with religion because, not that I want to turn into a big religious stream, but like, I, I, I think it, it, it may be hard to understand, but like, you can, like, when people say like, oh, thank you, Lord, for you know, if, if stuff's going well in their life, it's interesting because you can, you can appreciate the fact that you've done everything yourself and nobody's helped you. But also at the same time be like thanks to, to like God. It, it's like a weird concept. Um, might be hard to understand. Um, but yeah, um, I do. Not all the time. Not all the time. But sometimes I do find it very helpful. Um, but yeah, like so. Sorry if that sounded all a bit mysterious and weird. And I, I don't. I, I don't. I want to explain to you guys why I'm so passionate and why I get like a bit emotional uh, about these things and, and, and I'm so thankful but without telling you every sort of detail of my life. Do you know what I mean? Like by keeping things private. Um, but yeah, so like it really does have the potential to like literally change my life and I could have my dream life, you know? Um, and I'm not saying that I'm earning like 10 grand or 5 grand a month from YouTube. I'm not. Um... But even earning like a thousand pound a month from YouTube and content is like a big change, you know. Like I said, you're earning that much. Like that's a big amount of money um, to add to your to your nine to five income. You know, um, and stuff like that. So that, that's why I'm I'm just like so thankful for everyone here. Um, you know, and I know you're thankful, like you say, Vaughn, We're thankful for all the help you do in the community, and I hope you get more exposure. Absolutely. Um, I do too, man. I I think things are going well things are going well um like i said i'm just ramping up more and more and it won't really be to the end of the summer that we're at full throttle but god am i excited for when we are oh i can't wait guys i can't wait so much like i literally cannot now wait until next thursday for sod to come out like oh my god like i'm just so excited because there's nothing much more i love than putting the videos out you know i'm hearing you great youtube content help me enough to want to follow for future guides and fun woohoo I am also here for future fun. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be a crazy few months, chat. It, it's going to be a crazy few months. Do you know what I can't wait for, chat? Like, I can't wait to get my own apartment at the end of this year. Um, I can't wait to get... What do we get here? Cloth. I can't just go waste. Waru, do you need it, Waru? Please, Waru, do you need it? It's cloth. Oh shit, yeah. Do, 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 do. I, I thought I was on my priest then. Well, I better leave. But like, so when I do get my own place in like, it's it's gonna be before Christmas. Like, I can't wait to do a. I'm gonna have a. It's gonna be two bedrooms, so I'm gonna have a room for streaming, 
Um, and if you weren't hurt and on the stream, I've now found the perfect place I want to live. Um, like the most perfect, not building, but like the street. It's like a few streets I want to live on. Um, room for somebody else? <laughs> no, a room for streaming. I... I'm, 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 I, and now that I know where, like, I can visualize it, and I'm moving quite far from where I live. Well, like, an hour away from where I currently live, and it's about, um, it, it's, it's near the motorway to get onto where I go to work. It is, um, it, it's got all my favorite shops nearby, um, things like that. And I, I, I'm gonna rent. I'm gonna rent. What I would like to do is, I would love to, uh, like, so I live with, family at the moment you know it's not my house i haven't decorated myself blah 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 blah. never lived alone so did i get anything i don't think i got anything did i what i would really love did i even loot the chest probably not um <laughs> what i would like I, I um i can't wait to like all the little things like i can't wait to like buy forks and towels and um plates like all those little things i can't wait for um Oh, I need to sell that. It's it's non it's non it's gone nightmare. Huh? Um But yeah, I um I, I can't wait to buy those little things, you know. And I'm gonna have a, a room for stream. Like right now, my bed is here, my desk is here, um I have a fridge over there for my food. Well, for, for some snacks and water. Like I said, anyway, it's mainly a water fridge and and, and um like a, a beauty fridge. Um, I have a small bit in it for beauty items, and I have like a, a mask I freeze. Uh, but mostly, mainly, it's a water fridge. It, well, it's a water fridge that sometimes has a pot of hummus in. Okay, that, that's what it is. Okay. Um, so right now, like, like all my 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 um, pills, medication, multivitamins, paracetamols, ibuprofens, you know, all of that stuff, is in like a box over there. So like my own place it'll be in the medicine cabinet what i'm saying is like my whole life is in one room at the moment whereas then it'll be um in a whole apartment and it's really weird because i'd love to show you guys where it is but i feel like for privacy reasons that is not a good idea <laughs> um which is a shame but no one has to know what city i live in you know i could just show you out the window maybe when i get there like do a little house tour video maybe um, I don't know. The, the place I'm looking at living is quite obvious. <laughs> Where it is, just by looking out the windows. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. I might go do something. Um, yeah, but I don't know. We could do a, we could do a plus two. Uh, should we do a plus two? I kind of want to do that. I'd rather do like a little plus five or something. If there is one, but if there's not one, which there isn't, then I guess we won't be doing it. You still need art. <laughs> well, if I'm getting the kind of place I'm looking at, Lyanne, I actually probably will get some art. Because it, it I, I could, like, I'm a very, I'm, I'm very minimalist, and I want it to be very minimalist, but the place I'm, the kind of, the kind of area I'm looking at has a view. Um, and because it has a view, it means there's a lot of floor to ceiling windows in a lot of the apartments around there. So, um, I may get some art because it'd be very bright. I could like, oh, you know, like, I don't have you as minimalist because it won't feel as like enclosed as a lot of apartments do. Um, I'm gonna go to the toilet really quickly. I'm gonna go to the toilet really quickly. Be right back, guys.
Your passion as well is um, decorating rooms and houses. Yeah, I, I'm so excited. And you know what? I went to my friend's, um, I went to my friend's housewarming uh, at the weekend, and she has bought her, her boyfriend is an interior designer. Um, oh, let me take off my. Her boyfriend is an interior designer. No, he's an architect. Sorry. And then her, his mom is an interior designer. So that like whole family is like very. Um, stunning oh my god and it that as well made me really excited like seeing my friend's nice house i was like oh my god i can't wait to do my own um yeah i just feel like there's a lot going on i mean oh there is one thing i wanted to say regarding the test stream last week on thursday i don't think i'm going to continue um doing it at least not right now um i think i am just going to stick with mythic plus monday every monday and not do the Thursday one um, now that things are kind of ramping up a bit. Um, I, I probably will be streaming more like when Cataclysm launches, when the War Within launches. Um, I'll probably play for it once on my own. And then, where are we going? What dungeon is this? And, um, you know, uh, and then I'll probably level it on stream, like the rest of my characters, because in the War Within and Cataclysm, I'm going to need to be leveling all of my characters, obviously, for guides, um, which I'm really nervous about. No, Gibby, I don't think it's hard. I mean, I have been on my... I hadn't done... I hadn't done one dungeon yet tonight. And if you think, like, if i done every single one... I mean, there's eight, right? So I could do every single dungeon on Tyrannical and Fortified and get, like, what, 1,600 rating? Just like that. From my druid. From my shaman, sorry. I, I'm always happy to play with people as well. Sometimes. If I have time, I'm always happy to play. Oh, do you know what I need to do? Oh, Earth Shield needs to go here. And then I need to actually put... Um, oh, and I wonder my dispel wasn't working. Yeah, of course, because I broke it. Um, Shoot by spirit. To go there, there we go. I, I totally forgot about doing that. Oh my gosh, but no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, it depends. I would never want to, like, to some people getting 1k, to some people, this might be difficult, you know. I never want to be like, like it, it's so difficult because for, for me, yes, it's easy, you know. Um, but that doesn't mean for somebody else it's easy, you know. Where's my primordial? Why is Pebble your wave not on there? Hmm, interesting. Um, I guess he's updating. I don't know, that's a bit weird. But yeah, I hope, hopefully you guys... I mean, I don't know if... It, is there anybody in chat that is... I um, don't feel like you have... Like, you know, none of you might play these games. Like, is there anybody in chat, though, that is excited for the new channel? Outside of just being excited for me because you're, you know, a hype person who, you know, is just... It, invested in the, the community but you, you know what i mean um but is there anyone here that actually will be watching them at all just just curious yeah i think there's definitely something wrong with my ui it's something quick on. are you normally a dps tv um how do you print how do you say it again is it gibby i remember we had this conversation but i forgot Because I, I didn't... Do you know what I didn't want to do? Which I, I think is really interesting. What I didn't want to do is go, Oh my god, guys, there's an announcement coming. There's an announcement coming. Um, and then do the announcement and make it sound like it's about World of Warcraft. And it's not. Just like how WoW released Plunderstorm. And it was like 10.2.6 has a big update. When realistically, it's nothing to do with 10.2.6 in my mind, because it's not even in the game. It's a different game. So you can't really call it 10.2.6 pirate announcement. Yes, it came with it, but it's not really the same thing at all. Do you know what I mean? I think I missed the channel talk. I came, oh, that's okay, Lou. <coughs> um, basically, um, so I'll, I'll do a TLDR for you. Basically, in World of Warcraft, um, a season comes out every like five or six months, 
There's also Season of Discovery that comes out sort of every three months. And there's also Classic Progression Realms. Classic Progression Realms, I don't do any content on yet. I will be when Cataclysm comes out, and I spent a lot of time doing that. But even with those three different game modes, there's a lot of downtime, right? There's a lot of downtime in between season launches for each of those. And it's always been a pipe dream for me. I, I've always said to myself, what if? Um, you know, and I, I actually, do you know what? I said to myself, guys, that at the end of this year, maybe I'd look at doing a second channel. But it's just got to the point where I'm already ready. You know, like what you don't want to do is do it too soon and burn yourself out. But you also don't want to wait for the sake of waiting. And I'm at the point where I'm like, I can, I'm ready. I can do it now, you know. Um, and I've put more time. And, and to prove that I know I'm ready, I have put more time into actually like leveling up characters and preparing for it than I will making the guides over the last three weeks. So I know that I can do it because it takes longer to prepare these channels, th th prepare for it, than it does to actually do the guides on a season launch. Like, imagine in Cataclysm, you know, I can do all the guides in a few week days, it takes weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, months, to level up all your characters level 80, you know? So it's like, once you're ready, it doesn't take that long. Um, I mean, it, well, I say it doesn't take long, it's an insane amount of work, but, you know... Um, so basically, Lou and anyone else that may have joined, I am in the middle of April launching a second YouTube channel. Um, when you, when I do give you the link to it, you will notice it already has 800 subscribers. And that is because it is a channel I used to do. Um, I used to actually have two channels before I was monetized. Um, before I, I said, look, I need to focus on one. Because at that point, you know, you should be focusing on one, not two. And I focused on gaming and here we are. Um, it was a men's lifestyle channel before. Those videos will still be on there. Some of them. A lot of them are private, but some of them you'll be able to see still. Um, ones that I'm, I'm kind of happy keeping public. Um, but it's going to be mid-April, mid and it's going to be an ARPG channel, mainly focusing around Diablo. Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Diablo 4, Diablo Immortal, and another ARPG game, which will be launching at a later date, called Last Epoch. The game has launched. It has not on my channel. Um, I have fully prepared for Diablo 3, Diablo 4, and Diablo Immortal. It's a three out of five games I am fully prepared for, and will be launching on the next season launch of it. Diablo 2, I'm unsure if I will be ready for the next season launch. And Last Epoch, I'm unsure if I will be ready for season 1 of that new game. Um, it's it's a very different game to WoW. A lot of WoW players do enjoy Diablo, like me. Um, it's the ARPG channel. If you're in the, yeah, you're in the Discord, Lou. Um, but the, the Discord channel ARPGs in Discord, that, that is what Diablo is. So any time you see people talking in there... That's um, that's what we're talking about. It's an ARPG. I'll probably watch the Diablo 4 content, but I haven't touched 2 and 3 for a while. Oh, I didn't know you used to play them, though. I don't really know if I'm like... Like, I love Diablo 3. Diablo 4, Season 4? Oh, my God. So much is changing. It is insane. Like, it's insane. Um, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's what that channel is. And I, I have said in, in the announcement as well, um, which you weren't here for, um, there is the potential for more games. I'm not committing to any more than those five because I don't know how much time I'm going to have after doing, obviously, those five games. Um, but there is a potential for, say, Path of Exile um, and some other games, I don't know. There is the potential for those. Um, but we'll see. We will see. Um, Diablo 3 is going to launch in mid-April. Diablo Immortal Guides are going to launch mid-April. Diablo 4 is launching mid-May. Um, and then... Diablo 2, I'm not sure. I haven't prepared at all for that yet. It may take me a couple of months even to get going on that one. Um, it might take me a good few months. Oh, and Last Epoch may take a month or two to me to me to prepare for i've been preparing for this for the last month um every waking free hour that i've had i have been playing and preparing for this literally all day every day for the entirety of march um that's not like an over exaggeration that is literal every waking hour 
Um, but I haven't been preparing for season four of Dragonflight. I've been doing this. It's been <laughs> grueling. <laughs> As well as preparing for Cataclysm. It, it's insane. But I'm really enjoying it and I'm really excited. So, you know, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. But yeah, what we were saying, Lou, is that it has the potential um, to be life changing for me, you know? Um, and I said to myself last year when I started this, oh, I'd love to do Diablos too, as well. Because, oh no! Because that is like another game I have a huge passion for. I actually have Diablo 1. Um, Diablo 1, I actually have the CD case. And that launched in like the year 1998 or something. I actually have the CD for it still. I still own the game Diablo 1. Um, I've always... I, I, I played... Yeah, for, for those of you that don't know my involvement in Diablo, this is not... I've Googled some games and thought, what else could I do? Okay? I have played Diablo since I was about eight years old in Diablo 1. I played Diablo 2. I played nearly every single season of Diablo 3, and I am a top 100 player in Diablo 3 every season. I play Demon Hunter mainly, but I do play the other classes, not top 100. But I have always been a top 100 Demon Hunter in the leaderboards for hardcore, meaning you can't even, you know, you die once and your character is deleted. Um, I generally get to the top 100 ranking or top 50 ranking in Diablo 3 every season and then I quit for the season because I'm like oh, I've achieved a really high ranking and I'm done with it um, so to say I know what I'm talking about in Diablo is an understatement um, and Diablo 4 um, Diablo 4 I was actually invited to play um, the late like alpha and very early closed invite only beta you know like the betas that only huge influencers get invited to or the best of the best players get invited to. I was invited to those um, in Diablo. So I, I'm probably a bit better at Diablo than I am at World of Warcraft. Um, I have to sign NDAs for those, can't speak a word about it, blah, blah, blah. So um, for those of you that probably aren't aware, which is probably everyone, I actually have... Um, I've, I've actually got a very large involvement in Diablo already. You just wouldn't know it, <laughs> you know? And that, that's without even doing any Diablo content, um, you know, that I get invited to those things. So, yeah, I actually have been... Um, so just in case anyone was thinking, you know, does he actually play Diablo? Or am I just like, do I... Diablo is actually um, something I've played... Probably, yeah, I, I would say I'm probably more skilled at Diablo than I am. Wow. And Diablo is the other passion. Well, ARPGs, really. Like, the last Epoch, that's a brand new game. And I am obsessed with it. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. Um, if, if there's two things I'm obsessed with in gaming, it is Diablo and ARPGs and World of Warcraft. That's why I'm also so excited, because it's, like, my two passions. I have, I have two passions, and that's those. I play other games. I'm sure a lot of you do. Um, and if you do, what games do you play? But, um, yeah, they're my two massive passions. <laughs> I'm so excited! I can't wait! I'm so excited I got to tell you guys finally! I'm so excited I got to tell you guys finally. You you guys can't I know I haven't shut up about it. You just can't imagine. Like. Just like how much. How excited I've been. And I've been working all day on it every day, like I said, for like a month now. Not being able to say a word to anyone about it. Like, oh my gosh. And you know me, I've got, I'm like, I love talking. Like, oh my god. Yeah, so thank you guys. All I can all I can ask of you guys is please keep watching the streams. Please keep watching the, the WoW guides. I hope you really enjoy them. Tell me what you want, because I'm here to do what you want, you know. Um, it must have been hard. It was very hard. It was very difficult. Very, very difficult. Uh, what am I having for dinner tonight? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Um, I have started on my chef-made, pre-made meals again. So, because I'm, I'm, I'm very busy, uh, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, I what I do is, and some of you may know this. What I do is, because I'm so busy all the time, I generally will not really eat proper meals and I'll just like eat hummus and pita breads and, and stuff like that and just snack um, which obviously isn't good so I sometimes order like I'd usually what I used to do is I'd only do it if like 
Um, like I would do it next week because P uh, Phase 3 of SOD is coming out. So it's like, oh, I'm going to be so busy. I need all my meals delivered and made like really healthily because I won't have time to even cook. Um, I order um, like a chef service. It's, it's, I mean, it's quite expensive, but it's not at the same time when you look at it from like a productivity standpoint, because I base all of my time around productivity. So I'm like, if, you know, going to the grocery store and thinking about food and what am I going to cook next week, blah, 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 that, and then making it all, that is taking up a lot of like mental and physical productivity um, up from me. So I use a service called Lion's Prep. It's all organic, chef prepared. Um, if you do it five days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you will, it'll cost about um, a hundred pound a week. It sounds like a lot. I don't think it is. The breakfast, lunch, and dinner for five days, all organic, super healthy, amazing food. Um, I'm doing it for three days a week. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm in the office Wednesday and Thursdays. So I kind of eat there. And then that's just like one dinner I've got to make. Like, you know, if I buy two pieces of sea bass, that'll last me two dinners. You know, if you buy salmon fillet, it usually comes in two. So that's like, Wednesday and Thursday's dinner done, so I just buy one recipe for Wednesday, Thursday, and then breakfast and lunch I have at work. And then you've just got Friday and Saturday, which generally I'm normally out on a Saturday or doing something. Um, and then Friday night I get a takeout. So three days a week, that kind of actually is really fitting my schedule well. But it means, yeah, the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday that I'm at home and streaming on Mondays, meaning I don't have time to cook as much. Um, I'm doing that now. So they have actually arrived again. I've just started it. But I don't actually know what I'm having for dinner. But what about you? Are you having anything nice? Have you had dinner? Yeah, busy, busy week ahead, guys. Busy week ahead. SOD phase three. I'm assuming we're going to see lots of data mining possibly coming in the next um, few days. I am going to have to get going on thumbnails, like ASAP. Oh my gosh. I've got like, what, a week and three days? A week and two days? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious me. Phase two. Oh my god. I mean, I, I'm, I'm very organised now. I'm, I'm very organised. I'm excited though. I'm excited for April because it now means I'm going to earn some money in April, you know. Um, and it means that the channel is going to grow hopefully a lot in, in April. Exactly. Woohoo! I've got a lot of work to do though, so I should still be... Yeah, I'll be streaming on Monday, next Monday still. Don't worry about that. Um, next month yeah and the monday after yeah yeah we're streaming yeah nothing changing mondays should always be um monday streams are something i really enjoy i don't want to take away from that did i get did i get anything no i didn't get anything what a load of rubbish hey eh? i'm all over rubbish okay guys let's do one more Let's do another one. Plus 28. Is it a push week this week? I don't know what this... What is it this week? Does anyone know? I can just look here. <laughs> bursting. Oh, I don't like bursting. I have a seven black rock hold. I don't really want to do a seven yet. I want to get a bit more gear. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I would like to do like a five or something. Um, oh look, Throne of Tides. We're just in Throne of Tides. I would like to do something different that isn't Throne of Tides. But you know what? Like I'll sign up to it because I'm, you know, I'm I'm a team player. <laughs> I'm a team player, chat. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I've been chucked out. Oh, God. Can't believe it. Mm, 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 mm. Um, hello. Or oh, we could do. Um, we, we've got five. I mean, come on, man. 
four, prototypes five. Hello. The low ones all seem to be thrown. Everbloom. If anyone does want to come, of course, again, please do feel free. Is it the one with nobody in? Oh, thank God. It's, it's the one with people in. That's good. That's really good. Are you, um, Lyanne, if you're here still, you, you said, um, you were looking at doing Diablo 4. Are you aware of all the changes happening in Season 4? It's, it's going to be insanity. They're fixing a hell of a lot. Um, like, the aspects that you can put into your gear, they're making it so that... You, you Like, if you have an aspect that's between 10 and 20% increasing something, um, if you find a piece of gear that is increasing it by 15%, you can extract that essence. And then every time you use that in future, it'll be 15%. It'll never be 10% anymore. It'll always be 15%. And if you find one that's 20%, you can extract that. And then it'll always be the best. If that makes sense. Whereas at the moment, it doesn't work like that. And it's very convoluted. And Diablo Immortal already has a lot of these things fixed. I don't know why they wouldn't have just put it straight into Diablo 4. Um, which is crazy to me. But there we go. But there's also like a million other things um, that they've done very well. Um, that they're changing. That they are changing. It's all very exciting. Um, there's no news on... I'm just looking. Oh! We've the six new messages in the WoW News channel and Discord. Okay, here we go, guys. Season of Discovery Phase 3 preview. Six runes per class. Six runes per class. Hello, hello. PvE event and eight raid bosses. And it's the Sunken Temple. New rune ability previews um, for Phase 3, Season of Discovery. The raid release schedule and lockouts in Phase 3. Um, <gasps> Jewel talent specialization is coming in in phase three. That is needed, so needed. Uh, new PvP item previews and Blood Moon changes for phase three. Okay, we've got some stuff happening there. And there's a profession update and new profession items in phase three happening as well. Any opinions, chat? No? Okay. <laughs> no opinions. No opinions. Really. I want to talk you guys through it. But I'm like, how quickly are we going to get a fourth person? A fifth person? Okay, well, let's just... um. I'm going to read it out to you while, while we're waiting for the fifth person. So let's look at the rune previews. Mark your calendar for April 4th, when Season Discovery Phase 3 goes live at 1pm PDT World Love Is that like 8pm GMT? Probably, right? Um, oh, I haven't got that great um, durability. Um, adventurers can level from 41 to 50, earn up to 10 additional talent points, brave new encounters in the Sunken Temple. It's the Temple of Atal Hakar, if you don't know. Oh, I can't do mounts. Can you not do mounts anywhere here? Oh, I mean, my durability should be fine. Yeah, okay. um, as a new 20-player raid dungeon, discover new runes, abilities, and more. At, discover at least... Weird wording. Runes for each class by engaging in fun new puzzles, quests, and secrets. Utilize two new gear slots available in helms and braces to apply your new runes. So we are going to be staying with the runes we've already got and then adding on to that with helm and bracer i'm guessing it'll be free for the helm and free for the bracer take part in an all new outdoor pve player versus environment event and learn more of the story tie in between mysterious dream portals and new sunken temple raid dungeon Earn new items and gain reputation with the emerald wardens as you progress players will cross into the emerald nightmare through these mysterious portals in four locations around the world Ashenvale, Duskwood, the Hinterlands, and Feralus. 
Content is available to players who are leveling up, as well as maximum level characters as they unravel the storyline. Our new PvP rewards and more. PvP ranks are increasing from 5 to 7, with all new rewards including new PvP class sets, with 54 items and 18 accessories available to earn. Wow, that's cool. New Blood Moon rewards are available up to level 50, with free new currencies available to collect and spend. There is of course the Sunken Temple Raid and, new master, and master new dungeons. Enter the first player 20 player dungeon in Season of Discovery where you go to Atal Hakar, Sunken Temple. We're going to face eight deadly bosses. Claim all new rewards and make exciting new discoveries. Redesigned experience brings to life the story of the increasing tension between the trolls and the dragons. Players can also gain new class quest rewards and quest rewards within the raid dungeon. Players will also be able to rediscover Blackrock Depths, Maraudon, and Zulfaric dungeons with all new loot at maximum level. Similar to what they've done with Scarlet Monastery. Um, you now have the benefit of Discoverers of Light experience, buff, which increases experience gains by 100% all the way to 39. With the lease of Phase 3, players can also gain an additional 50% experience from 40 to 49. So they are actually continuing to increase that experience buff to make sure that you're, you know, you're not taking 200,000 years getting up to max level, which is really, really fantastic. It's a great time to join in the fun. Um, in phase three, whether you're just joining in for the first time or creating and leveling. So basically from one to 39, you've got a 100% XP boost, meaning it's double speed. And then um, you can also be doing black um, BFD from 25 to 39, which will get you up really quick anyway. Um, and outside of that, do Scarlet Monastery. And then from 40 to 49, you'll get a 50% XP buff, which is really good as well. Um, you can visit any keeper to turn that in on or off, of course. Okay, let's have a look at a few, some of the comments. This should be exciting. Um, why so soon? Way too soon. They are just releasing Phase 3 with 50 XP buff. Phase 4 in early June. So we can dive into Elden Ring DLC at the end of the month, please. Um, again, somebody saying way too soon. Hopefully this is an April Fool's, though if history serves, they put a lot of craziness into April Fool's and this seems like a realm of what you'd expect. I believe it's an additional 50% from how I read. Wait, what? An additional 50% experience buff from 40 to 49. Wait, does it mean 150%? Oh, I'm interested. I I'm not sure. Uh, somebody said, get ready for 20 Wowhead articles instead of just one with all the previewed info. True, though. I love the new announcement, but I feel like I only just got to 40 and I'm missing out on phase two. Am I the only one in this boat? This is way too soon. My guild still hasn't seen a single epic fist weapon drop, and we've only missed about two lockouts throughout phase two. Sooner the better. Glad they don't give a big heads up between phases. Um, I don't get why we get we don't get a bigger gap. I think that's a bit weird that we don't get the big gap between seasons. Sorry, in news. Um yeah. New rune ability previews. Let's have a look at the rune abilities. Um, okay. Let's have a look. This could be interesting. They are looking to balance... Okay. Blizzard heard your feedback that runes with phase 2 didn't feel accessible until level 40. And they're looking to balance that with a mix of runes that you can obtain while leveling, but still have some to look forward to at the new level 50 cap. Druid rune preview. Okay. We have got Gore. Striking. Hang on. There's six new runes for each class, meaning free on the helm and free on the braces. Meaning, realistically, you can look to get, in my opinion, probably two new runes for, say, Restoration, two new runes for Feral, and two new runes for Balance. Meaning, there's going to be pretty much no choice on what you're actually taking. Um, and it'll be pretty clear-cut. Which, for me, as a guide writer, I think is pretty, pretty, pretty... Oh, that up. Because I've got to sim all this. I've got to think about all this. I've got to record all this. I've got to tell you all this. I've got to do a lot. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. My head's going to explode. <laughs> How long does it take for these people to get to this dungeon? Holy heck. 
So as a, as a druid, we have um, improved bark skin. Can now be cast on allies. And no longer penalizes melee combat speed or spellcasting time and can be cast while shapeshifted. Well, I know what room I'm going for as a healer then. Hunter, lock and load each time your traps is triggered. Your next shot ability within 20 seconds cast no mana. Focus fire. Mages get deep freeze. A stun, only usable on frozen targets. And bale fire bolt. Um, that's too much to read. A paladin is getting improved sanctuary. Increasing the damage prevented by blessing a sanctuary. But 100% increasing damage done by blessing a sanctuary. Your consecration damage can now be critical hits. That's nice. And damage from your exorcism, holy shock, holy wrath, and consecration spells gain additional critical strike chance. I like that. Priest. Critical spell casts cause your next smite or flash heal cast to be instant cast. Oh, that's really nice. Pain and suffering. Mind flay refreshes the duration of your shadow word pain on the target. Rogue, we're going to get Honor Among Thieves. When any player in your party critical hits of a spell, you gain a combo point. When any player in your party critically hits, you get a combo point. Oh my god. And cut to the chase. Eviscerate and, ve and Venom, refresh your slice and dice. <gasps> That's so nice. Shaman's getting Riptide. Dealing, and also mental dexterity. Dealing damage with your melee weapons increase your attack power by 100% of your intellect and your spell damage and healing by 30%. That's really nice. Warlock's getting Pandemic. Periodic damage from your Corruption. Um, can now be Critical Strikes and Summon Felguard. Self-explanatory. Um, Warrior, Taste of Blood. Whenever your Rend ability causes damage, your Overpower ability will activate for 9 seconds. That's really nice. Jesus Christ, what is going on here? God? Who is tanking? Uh, and then Warrior, they've given us like a few um, a few options. But that's it pretty much, guys. I don't know what is going on here. My goodness. Holy guac. Wow, very exciting. This is like crazy. <laughs> oh my god. This is what I want. I, I want it to be like 4th of April or whatever. Season of Discovery is coming out. Boom. And then a week and a half later, Diablo Immortal coming out. Boom. Three days later, Diablo 3. Boom. A month later, I know for a fact that Diablo 4 is coming out. Boom. And then... At some point, hopefully in the middle of those two things, season four of Dragonfly. Boom! Do you know what I mean? And, Diab and Diablo 2 at some point, and Last Epoch at some point, but I haven't prepared for those yet, so who knows. Um, that could take me like two months to prepare for, I don't know. Um, it just means that I've got now a lot to work towards. I'm the sort of person, chat. I don't know if anyone else in chat is like this. I'm the sort of person I don't like to get stale. So, although I would never, like, I, I would never, what you don't want to do, I think, in content is saying? get bored of what you're doing and want to do new stuff against your audience's wishes. In other words, like, imagine if I was like, oh, I'm going to do loads of Diablo stuff, but I'm not going to do beginner guides, and they started falling off. No way. Like, the beginner WoW guides are always going to be the priority. Um, Diablo is also going to be, like, a priority, but I'm going to, like, I'm going to make sure that I'm never reducing the quality of like my other guides do you know what i mean i'm only going to be adding to my but like you know content offering um but i'm like what's next you know what i mean um and it doesn't have to be like oh i've i've never done diablo before so that's what's next it's it's also what's next like now i'm really excited for phase three of sod to come out that's what's next you know but the last month there's been no what's next <laughs> and it's been like <laughs> so I'm really I'm really hoping that um yeah by I mean what end of summer it's so crazy isn't it but like I've just said that like oh I, I always want like to be like what's next but I'm also like I can't wait until this is all up and running so own worst enemy chat 
own worst enemy in the best way possible. In the best way possible. Oh yeah, yeah, craziness, absolute craziness. Oh, it's down as if my Earth Shield. I do love Restoration Shaman, though. It's so fun. Obviously, I've been playing it to a really low level tonight, chat. Please don't bully me about it. But, um... I think it's been really, really, really fun. And you, well, I've had a really, really fun time. <laughs> oh, God. What a revelation, eh? What a revelation. <laughs> <coughs> so when I get off stream tonight, um, I am, I don't know if I will, will I go for a run? I think I will go for a run. I love Shaman played Elemental and they have too many buttons for me. It is so crazy, Lou. So crazy. Don't play Enhancement either. You'll have even worse time. Enhancement and Elemental are fun, but it, it's a lot. It's a lot happening. Um, what yeah, it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, that's Totemic Recall, isn't it? Yeah. I think this group is like, I don't know. Is, is this guy like just dinged? What's your skin? I mean, it's a plus, it's a, it's a plus five. I'm not trying to bully him. I just want to see... Oh. Who's tanking? Oh, the Paladin is tanking. Okay. I'm just not sure if, if I'm playing with, like, new people who have just dinged is all. I was just curious. What I don't mind is if you're in a plus five and you don't know what you're doing. It's finally here to learn, you know. It's when you get to, like, plus 20s and people don't know what they're doing. And it's like, you should really know by now, you know. Um, what what do you play, Lou? I, 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 I have no idea. I've got no idea what you play. I'm sure you've all told me what you all individually play. But God knows if I'll remember. <laughs> Did you... Hunter? No. Oh my god, I was right! I, I, apparently I do remember. <laughs> apparently I do remember. I wasn't sure that was you or was someone else. So I, I remembered somebody last stream was talking about it, but I couldn't remember if it was you or oh, somebody else. I just love it how like when you do like chain heal, like, like all the water comes out. Do you know what I mean? Like it's really pretty. Um, like class fantasy, I, I love, I love my classes to have like class fantasy, um, and if they don't, well, then I don't like it pretty much. Um, yeah, no, yeah, no, that's it, that's it really. So I'm guessing that we're going to find out all of the runes by like day one. Well, I'm trying to think. When did we find out last time? Like, I think we found out what the runes were. I can never remember. I can never remember, like, what we get told um, before the patch with SOD and what we don't get told. No idea. One thing I will say, chat, is obviously I'm quite active in my Discord. Um, I, when a patch comes out, generally, I, you, you won't hear from me. Um, you'll just see the Javier's content channel, like, budding, 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 budding. For those of you that haven't been with me for, um, a, a patch launch yet. Because I, I just, literally, I'm like, head down, guides out. Head down, guides out. Is pretty much how it's. So what day is it tomorrow? We've got Tuesday tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to start doing. 
SOD nails. Interrupt. Interrupt. Uh, what to do? AOE incoming. A lot to do. I still want to get Diablo 4 and Diablo Immortal prepared this week. Like, fully prepared. Because Diablo um, 4 has an XP boost. Um, has an XP boost this weekend for Easter. Like, 30%, I think, or something. And I've still got some pre like a, lot, well, a fair amount of prep to do for that. Dispel. My mana is terrible. I mean, I'm not playing that well, as I said, but Christ. I mean, I am only level I, level 420. So I can't, you know. I can't expect too much from me. That wasn't even like that great for last season, let alone this season. But it's enough though, you know, it's enough. I'm like, what, uh, 60 eye level too low? Oh, caramba, I caramba. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to assume it's like the cogs are turning in my head right now, chat. I'm going to assume we... I, I don't know when I would... I don't know when I would like Season 4 to come out. I guess end... I, I think for, for me personally and selfishly, it would be that yeah the end of April, start of May would be like perfect. Hmm. <laughs> What does that one do again? It's for, uh... Oh yeah, while casting. I forgot we had that. Ooh, I haven't played Charmin in a while. It's been like a few months really since I've actually played it. I have to refresh myself on what the hell I'm doing. But it is weird. Like you know, like how you have muscle memory. Um, it's almost like muscle memory. Like I can just pick up, um, you know. Oh my god, this is so messy. What oh, oh my god. Impossible, baby. Impossible. I think that was partially my fault there, but, you know. Knocking back. Just wipe. What are you doing? Just wipe. I really hurt my gum. I'm here. I think I bit it the other day. Really painful. Leaves the party. Are you fucking kidding me right now? We're not going to four man it. Oh, I guess I'll just leave then. Oh, well. You know, it's difficult enough five manning it with this group. No offense to them, I think they seem quite new, but you know, um, I wouldn't leave a dungeon like that. But obviously, somebody else already did. So, yeah. Okay, guys. I think, unfortunately, <laughs> I guess we're cutting a bit short then. Um, just checking, nothing else has come out. Um, no, it doesn't look like anything else has come out about SOD. Um, yeah. So, thanks, guys, for coming tonight. I had a great time. Um, we got some, you know, dungeons done. Got a few items on here. Got got myself uh, 262 rating. Done three dungeons. Or four, I think we done. We've done that one twice. Nearly three times. But, um, yeah. So, just to clear up on everything we've gone over tonight. In mid-April, I will be launching a second YouTube channel. 
<laughs> and that is going to be run in tandem with my WoW channel. The second YouTube channel is going to be an ARPG channel. I will be giving you a link soon. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Help me get to a thousand subscribers so that we can get monetized once we get some views going. <coughs> Obviously, the quicker that happens, the better. Um, and um, yeah, we're going to be launching that mid-April with Diablo Immortal and Diablo 3. With Diablo 4 coming for Season 4 in May. We're going to be doing season, uh, SOD Phase 3 guides coming out, as usual, from day one next week. And um, even before then, it, it could possibly even be at the weekend, depending on what we get out. Because um, I see um, all my theory crafting. Um, and then we're going to have Diablo 2 and Last Epoch coming out um, at a later point in the summer. And that point when Cataclysm comes out in the summer, we're also going to be doing Cataclysm from launch. Yada, yada, yada. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. It's been fantastic having you all here. I hope you're excited about the announcement as I am. Um, and I will see you next Monday um, for more Mythic Monday.